box is not right. No, it's you never right. Push the box in. What? I said the clocks are not correct. Uh oh. One downstairs shows we got a couple minutes. Now it's seven minutes late. Well, every clock has a different time in this place, I think. Okay, I'll open up the meeting, uh, Commissioner's meeting for May 14th, 2014. Um, and the first item on the agenda is public input. Do we have anybody from the public that would like to speak? Seeing none, um, Robin Gordon, you're next on the list. Since you're here, we'll, we'll go through the minutes when we get through, when we get time. Okay. And, uh, okay. you all know, um, Chuck Lefford from Probation, Chief Probation right. Officer. Yep. Hi, Chuck. Oh. So. Morning, Chuck. Good morning. Um, you had asked that I go over and take a look at the old nursing home in terms of space. Right. Um, and I did that and thought about it. Um, the, sp the space that, well. Bob took me around the whole building, which was nice of him. Mm -hmm. um, and we, I looked at the space that uh, probation had been thinking about looking in. The front of the building or the rear of the building? The rear, well, both, actually. Okay. Um, that space is really big. I think the cafeteria area. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be big enough for both of us, certainly, to be in that. And then I looked at one of the wings, and it just doesn't... I mean, it's all concrete walls, and so it would be a little difficult to maneuver for my office. Um, so I started thinking about the two spaces and what would be, not that it's any of my business, but I thought no, I'd about it. that's fine. That's um, fine. It seemed to me that if my office expanded to down here, mm -hmm. took over from the double doors, oh, and includes all thing. this part, all this part of the building. That, and I haven't even, I haven't even. This is just pie in the sky. I haven't talked to anybody mm -hmm. else about this. Um, that deeds, because it's such an open, airy space over there, and they have such an open space, they don't have a need. For, I mean, they need a fire suppression system. I think they probably have something like that downstairs now. Mm -hmm. We do, but. You know, they have staff, but they mostly have public, you know, the title people coming in and looking through the records, and the records are all public. Yeah. And it would make, it seemed to make sense to me to have that department move into that space. And that would free up the entire downstairs, which would then, and the business office is so crammed as it is now, I mean, the women in the business, the three of them, are on top of each other, yeah. and there's a lot. So if the business office moved into the space where Deeds is now, yeah. okay, but there would also be a large area for a public meeting room like this, so the delegation could meet in that area, or any other, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know this room is used a lot you know, for meetings. I yeah. use it for the Child Advocacy Center, and I know the Sheriff's Office does trainings in San, but that would be available um, mm -hmm. in that area. And that would free up the business office area, and I thought that would be an ideal situation for probation. To be in the business office? They have, well, you have three? We have staff. Four, four staff, well, one that goes up through Conway and comes back so half down here and half down Conway. Mm -hmm. So we would need four desk space for, uh, for staff. Um, sometimes we have a case tech a collections person coming up working with us. So sometimes five people. So it would provide you with a secure place to be in um, because essentially this would become more of a public safety building, you know, with the sheriff's office, the county attorney's office, and new people in probation. Um, and and it, in looking at the space downstairs now, they don't have a lot of need for a lot of office space because they're all out in the open as it is, so it wouldn't be a 
seems to me it wouldn't be a lot of renovations over there. I mean, there would certainly have to be some, clearly. But it's got great parking for the public, mm -hmm. got great space. There's windows, <laughs> those pretty light and yeah. airy. Yeah. And they'd have their own entrance, but they could probably in through the back or whatever. But um, And it seemed to make the least amount of movement and renovation. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> well, and well, rather than I mean, yeah. I. So where would the delegation meet? That, and that that whole Downstairs. space down there is, you know, there could be a huge conference area, in addition to the business office, plus storage. And you know, I don't have any idea about square footage, but actually, um, does that have two ways to get out? They got one door. Yeah, I think there's a door on this side, right? Yeah. No, I don't know that. I there is a door right in the middle um, between where the records are kept and where, I guess, their conference room is. There's a, there's a door that goes out, so they'd have two ways of getting out. You'd have, we'd have to renovate the old nursing home portion of it. And you're talking, you're suggesting the back portion of the old nursing home for deeds? The big area? The big area, the cafeteria where it's all, you know, there's oh. a lot of windows and it's pretty light. Um. Because frankly, if probation were to go into that space, it would, it would be a lot more renovation would have to happen. Mm -hmm. Just to create the offices and make it secure. Whereas, um, you know, the way they're situated now downstairs, they don't have separate. There are a couple of, nobody ever uses a private office, it seems like, down there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Lillian's old office, I don't think Ann ever uses that. Yeah. But I don't know, I'm guessing. Okay. Chuck, so you've. You looked at the commissioner's office. That would be sufficient for you. Yeah, I don't see the need for any renovation, us moving into that space. Yeah. Um, everything is structured the way we would need it. Um, and did you look at the nursing home, the yes. old nursing home? Yeah, we uh, went through the cafeteria area. And it's a mm -hmm. big open space, and there would need to be a lot of renovations there to create office space, to create uh, secured walls, because there you could walk in freely from all hallway. Yeah. Um, create a, a waiting room, um, so there'd be a lot more need for for construction and uh, and putting up walls. Okay. And what about the front portion of the old nursing home? Yeah, if that was still that, available, we looked at that, and uh, there are some concerns with the front part of the building. Um, I've spoken to a few people about renovations there and, and inspection issues that, that would need to be done. Um, but I, I've been told that the, there's a couple other agencies that are looking at that space. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but we'd like to look at anything that was presented. And, and as I've told you before, that about uh, any time now there would be an RFP sent out by the state. I was wondering, I was going to ask you my next question. It is should have been sent out last month, but uh, it's been delayed. Uh, but I've been told that I'll, I'll be. Uh, given the date that it's coming out, it'll be one day in the paper, it'll be out, and then I'll notify you. Okay. And then we'll just need some um, letter of interest that you're looking to rent to the state, and then we'll, within 30 days, come out yeah. and look at the space that you're willing to uh, discuss. Whether okay. it be one, two, or three different spaces. Okay. okay. Um, go ahead, Commissioner. Um, Chuck, as you know, one of the problems we've had with moving forward with the old nursing home is the cost of renovation. Right. Um, the delegation has given us, I believe, what, a million, one, million, two? Million one. To fix the roof and do the other work. And take the wings down. And take the wings down, and that's going to eat up practically all of the money they're giving us. Right. Um, is, is the state willing to pay for renovations? History has shown that they we're don't. not. Okay. Um, that typically will come in and say, um, we'll rent the space as you provide it. Um, and we're going to need certain things to be done with the space. Um, I mean, I'm not allowed to talk money because that's not my domain as far yeah. as rent, uh, what we pay for rent. Uh, but we will come in and say that this is what you'll do for us with the space. 
this is the amount that we'll pay per month. Um, but we're not able to come in and, and we don't have an agency that does that for us mm -hmm. or a separate uh, account that pays for renovations. So the answer is basically no. Yes. Well, that would require that if we are when discussing this with the, um, with the delegation, we're going to need to get more money if, if we're going to move forward with keeping this building in any portion of it. And we do have to fix the roof because we've got the laundry and we've got the pallet boiler and we've got maintenance, maintenance in there. Yeah. And we, we have to take the wings down according to the delegation, according they've budgeted it for, what, about a year from now, if they don't get us to do it sooner. So I would think Monday, one of the issues we have to discuss at the delegation meeting would be getting more money if anybody's interested in running it out. Okay. You got any other? Ashley, do you have any questions? Eh, no. You got any other options? I don't. That you I mean, of? I, I, you know, the, the whole uh, movement with the felony case flow. I, I'm going to need more space if we, mm -hmm. if that comes to fruition. Yeah. You're uh, predicting another two um, county attorneys. Yes. And I read in the minutes where. Um, the towns are thinking about uh, putting together a uh, prosecutor and We're that would be housed with a county attorney and so you're going to need more space for that person? Right. And what do you predict for that? That could happen sooner than the I'm not. That's really in the beginning stages. I know. Oh, is uh, it? Yeah. Um, I've got to <coughs> meet with the chief in Nossipi. His, it's his need is the greatest and I, I don't know what the other towns are. It, it, that's as far as it's gotten. Yeah. Um, we have three prosecutors now in the towns? Well, we have Conway. all the police prosecutors. Yeah. We have two attorneys. One one works for Conway, one works for Wolfboro, and there's a police prosecutor in Wakefield who's going to law school. He's going to graduate this year. But, um, okay. but Ossipi is just there. They've got a lot of stuff going on, and they, they're short-staffed, and they, don't, they want to have their guys on the street. They don't want them in the court. Yeah. So I don't blame them. I mean, they're police officers. <clears throat> so we are, we're talking about having that happen, having the office take over and have them pay for it, but we'll see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anybody on the board got any questions regarding? I just wanted to add one more thing. If Go I'm ahead. Just the timetable uh, for our office space need. Um, it is going to be December 1st that we're looking to move into new space, uh, that being about six months away. I know that sort of gives you a time crunch uh, for yeah. making decisions, and since you have a lot more um, other, other individuals involved. Um, so. Okay. Let me, let me ask this question of the board. Um, when this RFP comes out for probation, are we very much interested in sending a letter saying that yes we would like to have probate uh, here on our campus is that absolutely true absolutely yes you agree with I, that yes i think other counties are doing it i believe strafford county mm -hmm. they're all in one building yes as well as grafton county i think okay. it's more efficient and more convenient so it really is it really makes it. a lot of sense okay we'll get you a letter as soon as uh, we get the rfp okay. um, and then we'll have to make some decisions as to where you might go. Um, David? Yep. I mean, it's practical here. If they're going to move in December 1st, we don't have any money in the budget for renovations. Um, it looks to me like if it's going to work, it, they have to go to the old nursing home first because we could probably renovate that and then move over here which makes no sense at all because of the you know, logistics and the cost. So we're stuck in a hard place. Yeah, we're stuck between a rock. We get people that are interested, but we don't have the wherewithal to make it possible. Okay. You so got we'll anything we'll else? send a letter of interest and see what happens from there. I mean, 
I can think of no better place than on this campus for the probation department. Yeah. <coughs> um, the delegation meets Monday. I think we could bring that up and say there is interest um, and there's all kinds of proposals that could happen, but if we don't have any money to renovate, then it limits uh, right. flexibility, I guess I'd say. Um, but that, of course, will make some members of the delegation very happy that we're unable to operate in an old nursing home. Okay. Do you have anything else? No. No, it would be helpful to have us here for the delegation. Yeah, in explaining uh, that you're going to be uh, the past the potential, that's not going to happen for another year, though, right? I would anticipate. Yeah, I would guess that that's probably true. I mean, there needs to be legislative changes. There, are, like I said, two counties were starting um, as pilot programs, mm -hmm. Cheshire and Stratford County, and they're calling them um, first appearances on felonies are starting at the um, uh, superior court level. So everybody's trying to gather some data about how it's going. Um, they haven't hired any additional people yet. Um, no, no, because no. it's re it's really a st two steps before the the whole program really starts. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I would suggest you might come to the delegation meeting on Monday and at the appropriate time. Yeah. Um, talk about that situation and uh, we're going to have to do something about it at some point in time yeah by next year anyway okay go ahead Couple of questions for chuck chuck number one do you have a whole bunch of stuff to move <clears throat> we we do um but i could be all done in one day with with inmate labor or offender labor uh, which is what we've done in the past is it possible for you to go out for bid or tell your bosses to go out for bid for one year? What it, yeah, what is the period? Typically, uh, we, the state signs a five-year lease. Five years. Uh, that's the typical lease throughout uh, the state for office space. Okay. Um, can, they, can you encourage them to go out for, for one year so that... Well, if, if we're you're gonna be out where you are or you can't get an extension for you <coughs> well if we run into a situation where um, that's the only alternative um, if we know we want to be in a certain spot and that's what we have to do I'm sure that they can uh, make some changes they've done that before okay, thank you does the state is the state feeling that they your office should be on a county complex yes okay. um, to be next to the court or the county seat is next to the sheriff's office, the county attorney's office. That's where we've been in the past. Yeah. And if we look back, you know, 10, 15 years ago, that's the way it used to be in this county. Yeah. Um, when we were right in the same facility as the jail and the county attorney's office. Yeah. yeah. And it worked well back then, which is why I'm trying to make yeah. that happen now. Do you have any reason why over at the courthouse space wasn't made for you there? Um, as it was mentioned building? with Stratford County, that's how Stratford County it had it set up and it works great in Stratford and we wish that it would have happened there, but it just wasn't in the cards. That was the new footprint model for courthouses. It, it yeah. was the same as COAS and it wasn't, the county attorney's office was in the COAS Superior Courthouse, but yeah. they ran out of space so quickly they're not there anymore. They, they built it to, you know, on the cheap. Yeah. So they build it on the cheap, Rob, and I go over there and it appears to me, do you need 12-foot wide stairways? Do you need 30-foot wide hallways? Do you need all the space? Yes, you've got some waiting room someplace, but it looks to me like they wasted more space than they Well, they created it so that you know, it's really a secure. The perimeter is um, in the hallways, so the judges and all the staff are protected. Um, and then you're in the, the courtrooms are in the center of the building, so I don't know. I'm not an architect, I don't know, but that's the model that they landed on. It isn't going away. So. It's no. not. <laughs> no. It's too late. Yep. Yep. Okay, I guess all I can say is we'll take it under advisement as to your um, thinking of movement of different departments, even though it's not your responsibility. Right. I appreciate <laughs> the, the input that you 
um, have given. And uh, we'll see where we go. And we'll wait for the RFP from probate. And we'll get the intent, the letter of intent uh, yeah. to where it's supposed to go right okay. after that. As soon as I hear that, it's out, I'll let you know. Okay. All right, good. good. Okay. Thank, okay. You. Thank you. They haven't changed their duties. It's still probation, not probation. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. It's probation, not probation. <laughs> like you being a representative. Probation might be a good yeah. end for some of them. Yeah. All right. Commissioner Babson's corrected me. It's not probate. It's probation office. Okay, Bob. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Morning, Matt. How are you? Good, thank you. Morning, Yourself? Matt. That's good, thank you. What would you believe? I'm sorry. <clears throat> thank you, Bob. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. thank you very much for the excellent presentation. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for having us. Really nice to have somebody who can come in and answer all your questions. My pleasure. So, okay. uh, for those who, for the viewing audience, uh, Matt Wilson from Train is with us. Okay. Um, we had a meeting last week to review the train contracts for uh, the Mountain View community, the jail, and uh, and subsequently I've added um, one for the annex as well. We have three boilers in the annex that need uh, they need attention. So, Matt has created uh, three contracts for us. That um, he did a, he did a fine job, made a great presentation, and uh, he's actually lowered the price for us uh, if we can sign on to a three-year deal as opposed to a one-year deal. Um, this contract, as you know, went out to bid last year. Uh, train won the contract. Uh, and this is essentially, we're trying to extend the contract. Um, they've made it financially appetizing for us. Uh, they've done a great job. Uh, we've, we've, we really haven't had any problems with any of the work that they've done. Their technicians are top notch. I, I see no reason to do anything other than to recommend them to come back to us again. Mm -hmm. And uh, since they've sweetened the deal and actually lowered the price of the contract, um, I would recommend that you go with the three-year contract. And there is a provision in there, if you, uh, one of the, uh, the small print, that if for some reason the delegation does not fund us in the second and third year, that we're not bound by the contract. I see that, yep. Okay. What's the privilege uh, of the board, or do you want to make a comment regarding the meeting, Commissioner Babson? That you held with the train. Uh, you were there also last um, week, Mr. Chairman, and it was very evident from what we heard that train had done an excellent job in maintaining our um, equipment. Matt, you were going to supply us somewhere along the line with a matrix of lifetime of this equipment and when we're going to have to begin to expect a replace equipment. Yep, so uh, we started to inventory that equipment within our system and started that spreadsheet. And uh, the intent of the spreadsheet is to show you existing equipment as an inventory list, um, expected lifespan of that equipment, age, and then uh, it, it, it'll work as a capital planning tool for you. Um, there's no cost, obviously, for us to do that as a service. And uh, it'll allow you, as a delegation, to look forward from a planning standpoint. You've got some equipment. That's an excellent condition. Obviously, Mountain View is uh, is new and, and, and in good operating condition. The jail, you've got some some equipment there is starting to reach the end of its expected life. Uh, and from a planning standpoint, uh, we certainly can assist in, in, you know, from a budget standpoint, budgeting estimated replacement costs, we're happy to do that for you. Um, and then just giving you you know, lead time and, and things of that nature. From an expected lifespan, we'll use industry standard. ASHRAE is our governing body, um, so that it's not a train established uh, expected life. It's an industry expected life. So, mm -hmm. and that's underway, Commissioner. 
what facilities are you going to be giving us a proposal on? The new nursing home, the jail? Yes, and the annex. And the annex. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Not this building. Correct. Yep. Okay. Why not this building? Yeah. We uh we gave you a proposal last year as part of the as part of the package and, and uh I don't know who made that decision, but we didn't get this building. Okay. We certainly are happy to look at that for you if you'd like. Was it a one year contract? I don't remember it coming out as, as this building. Maybe it was it, before it we got was. Here. Yep, it was one a year. one year. One year? Yep. Um I think the I think the goal here is to try to get one company to maintain everything. Sure. Rather than one doing this, one doing that. Uh, hopefully we can get a better deal if one company did all of them. Go ahead. Well, I was going to suggest we we ask Matt to go back and give us another proposal if we include this building. We did wonderful in including the nursing home here. We can yeah. pick up some more bucks and they can make some more money. Sure. Is that yeah. a possibility? Absolutely. We'd be happy to. Uh, the, uh, the proposal we had generated last year uh, can easily be updated, translated to a three-year deal, and, and we'll apply the same discount. We'll, we offer you a three-year contract. It saves us overhead. Yeah. I hope we're not having to come back and do renewal, and there's no uh, there's significant economy of, of scale when we do that with four contracts. Um, mm -hmm. So we're happy to do that. So we have a contract on each building? Correct. All right. Why? Why isn't it under one? Uh, you know, to be honest, when, when it first started, uh, we dealt with Joe Boyd at the jail, and then you built Mountain View, we started dealing with Bob, and that's just sort of how it evolved uh, again. And, and for us, it's three different sites within our system, but we're happy to give you a single contract, however you'd like to do it. For us, it's, uh, you know, we assign a primary technician and a secondary technician, and we operate we typically come and we'll do Mountain View and then the jail from an obviously from an economy of travel standpoint. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, it's not a it's not a problem for me, Matt, as long as they um, expire on the same day. They do. We so don't want to be chasing around um, one for June, one for August, worrying yeah. about whether we get thirty days to let you know that we're going to continue. Or right, whatever. and the same for us, frankly. Uh, so right now, all your contracts are beginning and ending on the same day. Um, I hate to delay it another week, but I'd certainly like to find out what they could do for us pricing if we include this building, and we also have to talk to uh, <coughs> Mr. Gagney. There must have been a reason that we didn't put this building in the same contract, mm -hmm. and I don't know what it is. Yeah, you need to get Jerry involved in that. Um, I don't, um, just for the sake of me getting the ball rolling with the other buildings, um, uh, is there any reason why we can't uh, bring forward an amendment to this contract uh, in another week? Well, it would be the way they're currently set up. It would be a separate contract anyway. So, so you've got three contracts there: the jail, um, the Mountain View, and the annex in front of you. Yeah. We'll present you. I mean, I, I literally can send it to you today uh, for the annex. The work, the, the work to develop the estimate is done. Okay, we got to find out when this other one, this building, is due. Does it, does when it the contract is up. Yep. Right. And the other, the other thing what they say and what whoever we got with the, with the um, contract for this building. With the, yeah. and I would certainly like some more recognition of the fact that we're giving them all four buildings and not just three when it comes time to price. Okay. Okay. So, what's your privilege with the uh, train contract? So um, I have a question. Go ahead. So uh, if we move forward with the three-year contract, the saving is nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Is that it? That's for the Mountain View, and then I believe there's a savings of uh, six hundred. Six hundred on the jail. Okay. Oh. So we have to do two contracts now. Is that what we're doing? Two three con contracts. Three contracts. Where, which one is the third one? I, I have only the annex, the old nursing home. Okay, and is there any savings there? I don't think so. All the, the old nursing home? What, what is yeah. it doing with the old nursing home? The old nursing home, we, I, I left it a one-year contract, and I don't want to, um, unless I negotiate that further, I, I don't want to do two of the boilers in the old nursing home every year because we supplement that building with the pellet heat. Um, 
those boilers are not going to need to be done every year. Um, okay. Two of the three. So what is okay. it doing at this point in the annex then? Right now, right now, those boilers need a service, each and every one of them. So okay, it's so it's a one, it's a one year. The it's, there. Yeah, only the, there are no air okay. conditioners in that building. And uh, I don't is it? I don't have, see it here. It's the first one. On on? Right here. Oh, page is it this page too? Yeah. It's the page one year six. contract. And in the big picture, that's a small dollar contract. The uh, the annex. So I'd like to, at this moment, today, I'd like to treat that as a year-by-year -year mm -hmm. contract. Can I have a motion, and then we can discuss it some more? Can I have a motion to accept the um, three sites from train to maintain our boiler system? Anybody? Not for me. I want to get the quote for the other building. <laughs> and... Um, well, we can add to it. So. Okay. So. Well, Mr. I Kenny, you want to make the motion? Um, I thought that you just made the motion. Didn't I you? haven't made a motion yet. I was asking for a motion. Oh, okay. But a couple things are not clear. Uh, the one-year contract. You pay quarterly here. You is can. The one what you talk about is it twenty five hundred eighty one dollars? Yes, you can pay that quarterly, but I recommend you just pay it in advance because you get a discount if you pay the whole thing up front. So this is for the annex. Yes, just the annex. Twenty five eighty one. Yes. Okay, and, and the first page I have for the two, the savings. That's the jail. Additionally, if all of these are paid in advance, you get a substantial discount as well. So if three, you pay in advance, you get a, a, a you get on more the money. top of the discount, another discount? Yes. Yeah, so the value that you uh, see in the here? contract includes the, I've, I've given you the discount for the three-year deal in the number. Okay. And then Doesn't if you prepay, we offer a 3% discount to take the prepay. Which is in, in high, highlighted right in the middle. Okay, so if we going ahead with the three contracts for a year, how much is the total? Do you have it here? No, you'd have to do the math. Oh, uh, oh, maybe somewhere. You're good at math. math. <laughs> Was it paid uh, quarterly? Why is it quarterly here? This just is an option if you want oh, to pay okay. it quarterly. Do I hear a motion? Uh, I made a motion to move forward with a train with uh, the contracts for the three buildings. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 All those opposed, nay? No. Okay. And not because I disagree with it. I want to see the... Uh, the addition of this building in the contract, uh, and I will approve it. Even though it's a separate contract? Yes. Okay. Then the motion passes, and since it passed, then I will sign the custom acceptance uh, portion here. So now my question is, are we going to pay it now annual to get the uh, extra 3% discount? How are we going to pay it? We pay it. Annual? So yeah. we get uh, extra yes. discount yep. for all the three uh, buildings. So, Mr. Chairman, if you would check that box in the signature, then that will basically trigger our invoicing. So when, when that gets transitioned internally for us, we'll see that you've checked the 3% box on the signature page and you'll be invoiced for that. You know, you'll have 10 days to pay the invoice. Right in the middle where I've highlighted. Look to the left of this <coughs> box. Oh, I see. Yep. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Yep. Shouldn't we take a vote on how we're going to pay for the... 
Uh, if you want to do that, sure. Uh, these are in my we budget. Have a of opinion. You have a difference of opinion? No, I said we may have one. Okay. I'll make a motion that we uh, pay the train contract on an annual basis and take the discount. I'll second it. Any further discussion on paying the annual fee and getting the additional discount? Hearing none, all those in support of the motion say aye. 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 It's unanimous, so <clears throat> motion passes. Yeah, I just have a comment. Commissioner Bobson just voted against going forward with the three contracts, and now he made the motion to pay the same with three contracts. So what is the problem? No, I just, why did you vote it against it then? You voted against... I explained why I wanted to see the four contracts, but you passed... <laughs> You two passed these two contracts. Yeah, and now you and now basically you fought for the contracts then. Do so you, you folded first against it now. You okay. fought for it. Would you like me to answer your question, Commissioner, or do you want to answer it for me? Go ahead, Commissioner Babson, you got the floor. I voted against the contract, not because I don't think they've done a good job. I want to see what would happen if we had all four buildings. You people voted to accept the contract for three. That being the condition, it's got nothing to do with how I think about the fourth. It comes down to a business decision. Do you pay it all at once or do you pay it quarterly? And I believe paying it all at once makes more sense at this point. And I am a member of this board, so I have the right to vote as far as I know. So my comment now, Mr. Chairman. First of all, do I have the floor or not? Go ahead, you get the floor. Go ahead. First of all, Commissioner Boxer mentioned you people. We are two commissioners. And the second, uh, I didn't say, and nobody said we're going to pay it annual. I just said, what is this here? It said annual. I was asking for it to pay on a yearly basis. Okay. I have signed all three copies. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. I guess we're all set. We'll just wait for a uh, proposal for this building. Who, who should that proposal be addressed to? The Board of Commissioners. Yeah. Okay. What's the other one's addressed to? Uh, the each individual building yeah. manager. So Bob. I got one. Joe got one. But we're talking you about got two. Bis business administration building. Huh? So. You got two. Yeah, actually, I got both of them, but Jason also got his. So yeah, okay. Joe. Uh, and, and I'm actually presenting um, Jason's today for him. And those are Jerry Gagney. I think that's who I sent it to originally, so yes. I've got his contact in. Okay. Great. Okay. So I'll get that out to you today. And uh, if you have any questions, feel Hope free. Hopefully, it will be a very reasonable. Well, again, we appreciate, As the, you can we appreciate tell. the business. Right. Okay. Thank you. Do you Thank uh, you very much. Do you want to well, sign these in the same As you can tell, I expect, <laughs> I'll, I'll execute them yes. below a price. Send them back to you by email. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you didn't ask for it, but you were hoping for it. All right. Thank you very much. Um, I'm not done. Okay. Yeah, I am. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. What you have before you here is a presentation for the kitchenette upgrade to the Mountain View, uh, the Mountain View Communities, uh, Mount Washington Valley Room. Uh, this is a this is a project that went out to bid. Uh, it was advertised in the newspaper, the county website. Uh, we received no bids based on the advertising, so we solicited bids. We received three. One from me, Paul, yes. Where did you advertise them? That, it, that we didn't get any answers. I'm the wrong person to ask for that. I don't know. Oh, where, yeah, I, no, I don't okay. know what papers it was at. I just okay. how we how we handled the advertising. And I'm not sure where it, where it went. It's good to see that at least two of the quotes were from Carroll County towns. Yes. Or, or companies. Yes. One of them's Coniston's Construction, Guilford, New Hampshire. Um, 
Stephen McConaughey from MCC Construction right here in Ossipee, and uh, Parsonage Mill Work, uh, Bruce Fichter uh, from Wolfboro. McConaughey, McConaughey, however you pronounce it. It didn't get it from the ad. I was the one that got in the quote that. Um, the other two, I don't know where they came from. Yeah, and he's, cer and he's certainly a, uh, well, I invited Parsonage Mill Work. I've experienced with him through the years in my previous life. And uh, and Howie uh, brought in Coniston Construction because he has experience with him. Uh, so the, uh, these are all qualified contractors. They all came out and met with me. Uh, we looked over the job. Um, they're all qualified people as far as I'm concerned. But, but in the end, uh, it's the proposal that uh, wins the bid. And uh, their proposals uh, were all adequate. Uh, Parsonage Millwork, however, I think uh, stood above everybody else. Uh, not only in price, his price was the lowest bid, but uh, he also supplied uh, the most complete contract. He submitted a drawing for the uh, for the cabinetry. Is that his drawing? Or your That's drawing? his drawing. Okay. That's his. We also did uh, have an architect come in and, and submit a drawing. It's a little bit different than what the architect submitted, just in cabinetry layout. But uh, we're we're not creating. We're not constructing anything. Yeah. We're not. We don't have any building construction. All we're doing is filling a hole in the wall with cabinets. So we modified the cabinet layout a little bit to fit our needs. Uh, Parsonage millwork uh, did not include an electrician, so I brought in an electrician amongst the other three electrical prices that are in here. And uh, the electrician that I brought in also happened to be the lowest price. And he is also very qualified because he is the, uh, the electrician who wired that building to begin with. He knows that building like the back of his hand. Where, where, where are the uh, electrical quotes? The electrical quote is uh, two pages behind Parsonage Millworks um, cover page. Right behind the the cabinetry drawing. Is that Daniel's electric? No, yeah. those were the, oh, that's yeah. the electrician that came in from um, that Coniston brought in. So, if you go to the forget my cover page, if you go to Parsonage Millworks uh, cover page, there are three pages: his cover page, the drawing, and the electrician. No, uh, the, the first page, back up, Go. It, right there where that yellow tab is, yep, that's page three. That's the electrician. So that's 2100 added on to 11. 9680. Ninety six eighty. Oh, I see. Okay, On that's total. Day. You got it total. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Got it total. Yep. It's still less than everybody else. It's still less than everybody I else. I got you. Yep. Yes. Where's the money coming from? The money is coming from money that was returned to us um, from defective and carpet. Yes, we we settled with a carpet company. They sent us back a check, and uh, how it's going to use this money for improvements for the benefit of the residents. Do you know what the what the balance was for the carpet? I believe it was twenty five thousand dollars. They returned to us. A thousand dollars was spent with the architect for drawings, uh, leaving twenty four thousand dollars. Uh, okay, I have a question. I don't mm -hmm. understand. The architect is paid thousand dollars for what? For the drawings. Drawings for what? For the for this. For the so you had an architect drawing up. I can't where answer uh, who. What? We had a cabinet set. Mm -hmm. Yes. Going. Yes. And this is the second floor. What you First floor, about? right the in first the big floor. room. Right in the big room. You know where the trash is, where mm -hmm. in the tray where oh, you put okay, your trays. Yeah, okay. You know that opening in the yeah. wall. Right there. Oh, I thought you were talking about the second floor. No, okay, first, floor. first floor. And it, it backs up to the cafe. Yeah. There's electric there. There's yeah. plumbing okay. there. So the architect uh, did a drawing. Okay. Yes. Uh, who's the architect? Is the architect the was EGA, the same one that did the building. The one building. from the... Okay. Yeah. So this were new drawings, and he charged $1,000, mm -hmm. correct? Correct. 
I believe that was on the requ by request of the commissioners when how he first presented this project. Uh, do I have a motion to uh, accept this proposal? Uh, I quote number three from Parsonage, New York, for eleven thousand eight hundred six dollars. Correction. Um, Parsonage Millworks quote is ninety six eighty. Yep. The, we'll be paying the electrician separately for twenty one twenty six. Yep. Uh, for a total for the project of eleven eight oh six. Okay. Say that again, please, Bob. Parsonage Millworks contract quote number three is nine thousand six hundred eighty dollars. That's one contract. One contract. The electrician is an additional two thousand one hundred twenty six dollars. For a total of eleven thousand eight hundred six dollars. Um, that's what I thought you said. Okay. Uh, if we decide to use Parson, uh, the Parsonage Millwork, why don't we go back and tell them that we want to have only one person responsible for this job if he wants it. He he hires the electro the uh, electrical guy and pays I've already, him responsible for it. I've already talked to him about that, and he's willing to do all the handling, make all the phone calls. So all I have to do is call. Uh, Mr. Fichter, um, but to keep things simple, I think we should pay the electrician out of Why? our funds because when you start having a general contract to take over, when, yeah, when, when you start having a general contract to take over items like that, uh, they tack on another 10 percent for dealing with uh, the contractors. At this point, we're not well, obligated. He can't very well if we know what he's paying now. Well, we're not. Uh, well, sure, he can. He can add it on. Well, he's going to do the phone calls for us. He's going to he's going to do the scheduling. Um, but at this point, he's, we're not obligated to pay that additional money that a general contractor would get. Okay. I think it's best to keep it separate. Do I hear a motion to accept that bid? Um, I have a couple of questions. Go ahead. So this is what. Uh, Excuse me. Point of order, Mr. Chairman. Okay. I also have some questions, but I think we ought to make a motion before we discuss it. So that's and I'll, I'll make a motion that we accept the Parsonage Millwork quote, and I'm making the motion for discussion only. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. Okay. So now we're under discussion of the motion. And Commissioner Kenny had some questions. Commissioner Kenny, go ahead. Yes, and uh, who wanted this? Is it Bob Harris? Whose idea was it that we need all this? Howie. It was Howie Chandler's mm -hmm. idea, because, I mean, the nursing home is a few years old, and we put in our addition on for $11,000. And um, why was this not in in the first place? I, I just don't understand. I can't answer have, why it wasn't in, in the first place. We have a brand new building. And, you know, no, I think this is a great that idea that Howie brought forward, because yeah, uh, the cafe isn't open 24-7, and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of times we have evening events. Um, mm -hmm. Bingo, um, after hours activities. Anytime that uh, the cafe is not open, um, somebody would like to rinse out a glass or get some ice, um, that type of thing. Okay, can you explain a little bit again? I don't know if you already did it for the public. What are we going to have done there? There's going to be a countertop okay. with base cabinets and upper cabinets. The upper cabinets are going to be used for glass. Uh, a picture of them. Yeah, but for the public. Oh. It's okay, I don't mind. Uh, the upper cabinet is going to be used for dish, glass, storage, vases, that type of thing. The bottom cabinet, there's not much bottom cabinetry. I believe there's only one cabinet. But uh, there's going to be space for a trash barrel mm -hmm. with, a, with a hole cut into the countertop so you can drop the trash in, put the tray next to. Uh, there might be, there's going to be a little cabinet next to that. And then there's going to be two refrigerators, uh, two under-counter refrigerators, one for storing uh, beverages that we use weekly for the residents and the other one is just going to be there for people who might need to store something short term. So basically a long term refrigerator and a short term refrigerator. Excuse me, and those refrigerators are not already in the kitchen? No. So we don't have, but do they have enough storage there, refrigerators, to have this all for the residents in? For what they, for, for, the, for its intended purpose, absolutely. And we have that. So this is extra actually what we Yes. Doing. Yes, this is for its intended purpose. And there's, and, the, and there's a sink base, and there's going to be a bar type sink with a gooseneck faucet. Mm -hmm. um, and we've somebody's going to be donating uh, money towards an ice machine that we're going to put on this counter. What what kind of machine? An ice machine. Ice machine. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, we've got uh, a benefactor who's going to donate some money towards the purchase of that. Might be a crazy question, but if part of the counter space is going to be storage for resident liquid, mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a lock on it? Yes, lock in refrigerators. Okay. So this is going any, to be, uh, okay, sorry. Any other questions? Yes. Go ahead. Are you all done? Uh, this is going to be used for uh, the dining room. The people come in, and you said, was it events? Events there? It's open to the public. Anybody oh, who okay. uh, anybody who needs uh, oh, okay. to have a sink while the cafe's um, closed. That type of thing. Anything further? Uh, not at this point. Go ahead, Commissioner. Thank you. Uh, first of all, the uh, generous donation comes from the Blackwood family from Wake. In Wakefield, uh, whose mother was here and passed away, and they thought she'd done. They we'd done such an outstanding job. They wanted to do something nice for the nursing home. So I didn't know who the um, name they, was. Thank they, you for mentioning they made the donation. Um, cabinets, boss. Mm -hmm. Who specified the cabinets, and did they quote on? Since we don't have the architectural <coughs> package, did they quote on the uh, or did uh, the parsonage quote on? The uh, is this thermal foil raised panel cabinetry? Is that what was specked out on the drawing? Must have been it. See, says C drawing, or did it say something like or or similar? No, it's it's the drawing that was supplied. This this drawing was made by the uh, the cabinet company. Right. Okay. I understand that. We presented uh, Mr. Fichter with what we wanted to see, what we thought was what we wanted for for cabinets, so specified. Uh, the cabinet company made their drawings based on what we want. I understand all that. My question was, is it thermal foil raised panels or do it, does it spec out like it does where when I was selling metal a lot of time or similar alloy or similar grade of steel? Does it say thermal foil only or does it spec out another or does it leave room in the spec for another reasonable facsimile? No, it's it, it's spec'd out only. As thermal foil. Right, what we want. I mean, if, if we choose something else, but we wouldn't choose anything else. We told them what we wanted. Okay. Um, they spec'd out what we wanted. And why why the uh, spec on the granite? Is it something special? Well, granite's less money than Corian. No, no, I'm not questioning whether it's good or not, but you seem to have spec'd out a certain type of granite, a hazel Platino granite. Was no. that a type of granite? Or no, that it's a just a granite. It's just it's just going to be a functional granite. There's nothing special about it. Uh, we chose granite because it's less money than Corian, but it's uh, more durable than Formica. What what about chipping? It's a rock. The it chips will patch it with epoxy or something. It's very unlikely that it's going to chip. Wheelchair at five miles an hour isn't going to chip. It, I don't right? think so. Okay. Um, it says new cola faucet. Um, was that to the spec on the drawing, or is that just any cola faucet? Any cola faucet. A bar type faucet that that limits it. There's only a couple made. Okay. They know what type we want. And uh, how do they get at um, the drains? Can it downstairs, under it. Uh, through the wall into the cafe, okay. and uh, there's a floor sink underneath the uh, the buffet uh, counter that it's going to drain into. Okay. And right behind that is the water line for the uh, uh, for a hand wash sink that's in the kitchen. It's just going to tap into those water lines. So it's it's a connected right fixture there. though, right? Oh yeah. To the drain. Yeah. In by indirect waste. I'm getting technical. Sorry, but By indirect waste. Yeah. What do you mean? This is it's what they call a floor sink. Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's uh, the top of it is flush with the floor. Yep. And an indirect waste just pours into the top of it with an air gap. It's for sanitation, so there's no direct contact with the uh, with the drain. It's the the floor sink is like this, and you've got a small pipe that just dumps into it. It's already there. It's already in use. That's how it works. So it's not a connected fixture as such. It just sets the and it drains into a floor drain? Yes. Sort of a free fall. You come down and go yes. right But that's by design. That's 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 really? board that's a that, oh yeah, that's a board of health uh, 
design. It's it's common practice. Really? Look in any commercial kitchen, you'll you'll see lots of indirect wastes coming out of uh, ice machines, uh, refrigerators, any kind of say trains. Um, that buffet unit that's right above that floor sink, that's an indirect waste. It just dumps in. Okay. It's for sanitation protection. You have the coffee machine already? That's, it's only for future use. We're not putting a coffee machine there right now, but we're planning on putting one there someday. And what's that require? Uh, it's water line to the? Water line and 120 volt outlet. And the outlet's going to be put in there? Mm -hmm. Yep. We may put a coffee machine there someday. We may put a microwave, but we're planning for it. But right now, the only thing that's definitely going there are the two under counter refrigerators and the ice machine. Okay. Any other questions? You still reading the specs, Commissioner Babson? Yeah. One more time? No, I just. Um, What's the story on the electrician? What do you want to know? His name is Fred. His name is Fred Charlton. It was all specked out on the prints. What what we need for wiring and uh, was there an electrical print or was he just no? There's no it? electrical print. This is design build. Okay, uh, I chose to go with the sub panel in the closet that's adjacent to this area that we're working on, rather than running individual circuits. It's 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 actually less money to bring in a sub panel. Um, so we're bringing in a sub-panel that, that ties into the kitchen electrical panel. That wire is run to the sub-panel that's going to be in the closet. It's going to have individual breakers for all the circuits that are right underneath the, uh, the countertop. So we won't be chasing around inside the breakers or in no. the... No. Breakers are right around the corner in the closet. Okay. What, what, uh, what's a slim line? Just a... It's like a skill saw versus a circular saw. It's a brand name for a circuit breaker. Okay. And it's consistent with the other breakers that we have in the building. Same manufacturer. Okay, I'm all set. Why did you say slimline under cabinet fixtures and lamps? Oh, the, uh, the, my correction then. The slim, that's under counter lighting. Okay. Then what were you referring to? I thought he was referring to breakers. <coughs> okay. Okay, anybody got any further questions? If not, we've already made the motion to accept individual contracts to a total of $11,806. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 All I oppose. Are, you oppose? Yes. Why? Uh, I don't think we need at this time an extra uh, addition. I don't think it is a need. I think it is a want. A small luxury what we have it seems like we have need to have an extra addition at a Taj Mahal I don't think it is necessary okay the nursing home is old a few years we spent over 20 million dollars and we keep on adding stuff well this is an additional cost this is a paid for by that's left over in the company um, this is still money doesn't matter Okay, motion passes two to one. I'll sign it. Has the parsonage and this electri uh, electrician ever worked together before? No. Hey, 
you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's all for me today. That's all for you today? That's all for me. All right. Thank you for taking the uh, county attorney around to show the uh, the old nursing home space that's there. I hope as it works well out. as um, probation department. Anytime. I hope it works out. I assume that the that the two wings on this side of the building are all cleaned out, ready for demolition. B wing is A wing. We're using for storage quite a bit of it, and if we have to take stuff out of what we're using. I'm not sure where we're going to put it. Two wings are coming down this summer. So we'll okay. find some space somewhere. All right. Unless somebody else has got any, any member of the board's got any other comments, um, that's what's going to happen. Okay. Okay. Do you have a time frame? Not yet. Okay. Keep me in the we're, loop. We're, we're, we've got other possibilities of use of the nursing home, so mm -hmm. um, we will be putting out an RFP very shortly. Okay. All okay. Right. Keep me in the loop. All it'll right. be it'll be ready. I'm just using it now, and I'll use it probably to the last minute. But uh, it's it'll be ready. Okay. Um, also, you might want to mention to Howie that um, the plant material around those two wings are going to be disturbed and if he wants to save them and plant them around the old the new nursing home then that ought to start right away okay. and get that cleaned out all right outside mm -hmm. landscaping okay i'll pass that along thank you thank you have a good day thank you bob yes thank you okay jason Only one, you said? Yes. Okay. Okay, Chase. The uh, this morning population, we have 49 in house, five out on electronic monitoring, six transfers, zero weekenders, zero out on pretrial release, total population of 60. Last Thursday night, uh, in recognition of Corrections Appreciation Week, uh, as proclaimed by President Reagan, uh, we had our award ceremony. I'd like to recognize and thank Commissioner Babson, Representative Schmidt, McConkey, and Tysurst for attending and showing support for the staff. Some of the highlights from the evening, uh, Deputy Superintendent was promoted from Captain to Major. Lieutenant Batchelder was promoted to Captain. The Rookie of the Year for 2013 was Correctional Officer Jeremiah Stout. Officer of the Year for 2013 was Correctional Officer Justin Corliss. Supervisor of the Year for 2013 was Sergeant Duguay. Uh, employee of the Year was um, Joe Boyd. Certificates of Appreciation were issued to Sergeant Baker, Sergeant Phillips, and Officer uh, Lucier. Uh, numerous ribbons were passed out. Uh, if you're familiar with the, the military, uh, I know you two are, but there's rib ribbons that are a worn on the uniform in recognition of certain achievements. So we passed out uh, various ribbons. And then what you have in front of you is the press release that I've issued uh, outlining the events for the evening. On Friday, we had the 96th um, New Hampshire Association of Counties Corrections Academy graduation. Officer Tucker and McGonagall uh, graduated the academy. And Officer McGonagall also received the Physical Fitness Award from the Academy. That makes uh, three academies now that we've taken home additional recognitions. This week I have three officers in instructor development, done at police standards and training. Uh, the report that I'm passing around, uh, Sergeant Baker gave me this morning. As of right now, uh, we've used 271 hours, 271.7 hours, uh, 75 hours of training in Relias. Uh, program's doing very well and you have a copy of the report to show what type of um, training the staff are receiving. 
um, have the female offenders working with the farm over at the nursing home, taking up the uh, day lilies and, and replanting them uh, oh. in preparation of the uh, new benches in regards to the veterans, I think. I believe that's that. And then um, just a follow up, I think, and I may be wrong, but I submitted a uh, an RFP for the repair of the roof. Did you guys discuss that within the last couple of weeks and approve it so I can get it published? I don't recall. I don't recall it. You don't see, recall seeing it? Did okay. you give us a proposal? What did you give to us? Uh, I asked for, we have um, the Department of Public Works has a proposal for the roof. Yeah. Did you give us a proposal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I think that the um, officers and general staff people around the complex need to be recognized, and I'm glad that they are. Mm -hmm. So just think about it. Sure. Okay, anything else? Don't forget to thank Mr. Sorensen for his uh, contribution oh, on maple syrup. Yeah, all right. Yes. How did thank that, you. how did... Uh, yeah. You boys lucked out. We lucked out? Yeah, I had a roast ready for the three of you, but <laughs> you gave it away before I could give it away. <laughs> oh, you roasted them? I was going to, but they decided they'd give it away themselves and not give Babson the opportunity. <laughs> you didn't have an opportunity to no, speak? No. Really? No. Shut well, right down. <laughs> then maybe it wasn't as successful as we thought it would. Well, almost. It was well, successful. <laughs> um, we, we have on our website um, pictures of the event as well as all the, uh, the generous donations um, contributed by local how businesses. Many, how many did donate? Uh, uh, I would say Rough. about 30, 30 businesses or a little yeah. more. And, yeah. and was it a silent auction type thing? Or how did that... It was a raffle. raffle. It was a oh. raffle. Oh, Free raffle. raffle to staff. Yep. Hold anyone a hat. I know Mr. Batchelor is a very smooth-talking individual, but did he return the hammer he took from maintenance when he went out looking for definite for donations? <laughs> <laughs> No, he did a great job. Boy, he, I guess somebody yeah. did. They had all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he did a great job. On the uh, on the website, it, it shows all the businesses. But there's Good. there's quite a number of them that that donated. Good. And we're sending a, a personal thank you letter to every single one of the businesses, also highlighting the website and um, their contributions. Good. So. Good. Yeah. Have you have you uh, parlayed that into any discussion with any of these? folks that have donated into perhaps hiring some of our uh, more trusted releasees. We can build off of that. We haven't had those conversations yet, but we can certainly build off of that. And they get out of here and they don't have a job, and yeah, not every one of them is going to succeed, but if we can get two or three that do, that's two or three that don't come back. Mm -hmm. um. Were, were those that donated invited to come to the, the event? No, we did not do that. Okay. Was there food there? There had to be food, otherwise Commissioner Babson... Mm -hmm. There was food. ...might have been questionable whether There's he food. would have... There was a, uh, actually a very good uh, spread put on by the nursing home. We had worked with Rob, um, and he, okay. he did a great job. Yeah. Okay. I will make an effort to attend next year. If it's an annual event? It will be. Okay. Absolutely. And we'll get donations from all three commissioners? Okay. Well, I'll be glad to give out a bucket load of manure or anybody in town that anybody would like. At least be a hay ride or something. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Nope. Thank That's you. It. Thank you. So you're dropping off uh, the RFP, is that correct? I'll bring you back. Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Will. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Fortunately, um, we're back to the Stone Age at the farm, so I don't have my computer um, broke. And uh, John Rich took the computer the other day, so I don't have copies of the reports that I generally okay. give you, folks. Um, this just happened Monday afternoon. Monday, yeah, Monday afternoon. So, um, just update you what's been going on at the farm. We, last week we did the parking lot sweeping. I noticed that. It looked good, good this morning. Thank you. Um, the guys worked really hard. We uh, we rented the uh, the Bobcat sweeper like we always do and um, did the sweeping, and then the guys were out doing hand work at the same time. Um, long day to, to get that done all in one day. Um, it was done on a weekend, right? No, we did it on Thursday. Oh, did you? Um, okay. We were looking. I originally reserved it for the weekend before, but it we had rain chances and a little bit of rain on that sand and it just when that sweeper sweeps it it's like mud it doesn't want to wow. all come up wow. um, and then there was chances of rain this this last weekend so I says well why don't we try it during the week and it actually worked out really well I thought it would keep the dust down um, with a little bit of rain but it turns yeah, into mud. it turns into mud it doesn't co collect it as well mm -hmm. um, 
and it worked out really well. The, the nursing home worked with us and, and all the employees over there um, parked at the old home. So we had the whole, from the admin all the way down. Um, I started here a little after five in the morning so that way we'd be done before this building opened up so they'd mm -hmm. have that parking lot. And um, It worked out really well. Send worked. them a little note to put on their bulletin board thanking the, sure. the um, employees at the nursing home for cooperating in the sweeping of their parking lot. How about we take the opportunity to do the same thing for Willie right now and thank him for coming in at 5 o'clock and getting well, it swept was, up so that it was a late, worked out. It was, it was an a, effort of everybody. Yes, it was a uh, long week last week. We um, down on my list of things, uh, so I went and picked up the sweeper the night before so we'd have it here. And then we also sold the um, wood processor. Um, and then we got, as, as commissioners know, $5,821.21. Um, so that gentleman came and picked that up the night before. We got that as a bank uh, check? Yes, yes. Okay. Yep. I had already turned that into uh, to Cheryl downstairs. Okay. Um, and also that same night we, we parted out the white truck. Um, we sold the body. We got $200 for the body. We got $270 for the motor. We got another $200 for the rear end. And I still have the transmission up for sale for around three hundred dollars. So instead of three hundred and fifty wow. to four hundred dollars, we're looking at close to a thousand dollars that we'll have gotten out of that truck. Great. Good job, Willie. Great. Um, we've got uh, staff and um, a offender down there who was who's a mechanic, and so on a rainy day we brought it in and they tore it all wow. apart and. Um, did the research, uh, Mark did the research on how much to, to ask for different things, and mm -hmm. um, I did the advertising, and, and we were able to make more money out of it. So Great. Good. But the gentleman came to get the motor that night, too, so I was here till like 8.30 uh, Wednesday night and then 5 the next morning. But uh, it worked out good. It was a long week, but very successful. Um, spring cleaning is almost done. we got a couple little more things to do. Uh, we're patching some grass areas now, um, and we got... A little bit of sweeping over at the old nursing home to, to finish up. Um, this week we started a new thing where the superintendent um, hit on it is that we're bringing out the female offenders now. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm running two crews. Um, it's a little more challenging to, to keep them all separated. Um, the females they, they go back in for lunch while we keep the males out for lunch. Um, but it's allowing us to accomplish several different things plus he wanted to get them out working. Mm -hmm. um, one of the jobs that they're doing as we speak is they're, they've pulled up all the daylilies that we planted out in the front here, uh, how we wanted those all pulled up because they're redoing that area. Oh, really? And yeah. so now they're replanting them. Um, we've put some by those light poles, and then we have the long walkway into the nursing home. There's rocks right off of that. Right next outside of the rocks, we're planting flowers, all over, planting those lilies all the way up the sides. Um, so that they should should look nice there. Hopefully, is is an interest, interest. Full sun. For the most part, I think. Um, so that's being done. We got some fertilizing done on the hay fields. I'm hoping to get to get more done. I really want to get that finished this week. Um, we've been having. What was the rain Saturday? I think. Yeah, I was hoping to get it done before then. Yeah. Um, we've got five jobs that need a loading a loader tractor and we got one loader tractor so I've been trying to shuffle around and, and get stuff done mm -hmm. with that. Most of the pruning is done on the blueberries. We got a little bit more to do on that and then we need to get down there and get the sawdust and the fertilizing going on that. Um, we bought a replacement rake, hay rake, um, that was budgeted for. That should be coming in in the next week or so. Um, we've been doing lots of wood That's deliveries. That's a side delivery rig, right? Yes. Yep. So it's uh, very similar to the one we have. Matter of fact, it's, it's pretty much the same model. So that mm -hmm. way, if we needed to rob parts off of the old one to help with the new one, um, we can do it. It, it, is, it is a used one, but it has been gone through, and all the gears and the different things have been rebuilt on it. Um, wood deliveries have been going out. We've taken out four or five wood deliveries already for the campgrounds. And I just talked with the gentleman down at the state um, this morning. As a matter of fact, he called me and wanted to see how things were going and, and explained to him and stuff. So he's, uh, they're looking at a policy possibly that they're putting together that um, will restrict on the state campgrounds because they don't want bugs being spread, restrict people, campers bringing in their wood. Oh. Um, so they would have to buy it from the campgrounds if they want to have it. 
which could expand um, more sales possibly. He said mm -hmm. they've experiment, they've been playing with it, but there's something that might happen. Um, in the summer, most of our summer equipment, the tractors, um, lawnmowers, and such have been all out, and most of them are all serviced, ready to go um, for those those things. I think that was pretty much all I had for the commissioners this morning. How are we doing on the pole barn? The pole barn, um, <coughs> Commissioner Babson got a hold of um, local lumber yards to get us prices on six by sixes. They got back to to me on those, um, so which are like a little over a hundred dollars a piece, hundred and five, hundred six dollars a piece, which is a lot better pricing. Mm -hmm. um, there's you know a square six by six. Um, so now we're working on. I think Commissioner Babson was also working on making some calls for. Um, someone that might have an auger that can that can drill deep enough to, to put them. Are you in. looking at a ten inch auger? Probably a six, six by six. It probably be eight inch auger. Eight, eight inch. Yeah, eight to ten would be plenty. Everybody's got the small one for fence posts, but not. Yeah, and, and yeah. they're not, and they don't go down ten feet. No. Also, we're just for the public. Where if anybody knows a trucker that runs from here to Texas, another option we have is. A very good price for bigger poles in uh, outside of Houston. If we can get them back here, the price was fantastic, but the trucking was three thousand dollars. So that made them not uh, about the same as buying other poles. Are we looking for round time. poles or square poles? Either, huh? Either. Either. No preference. The original. Um, quote I brought in that that gentleman was talking about round poles. Um, but square poles, it doesn't either way. And they were eight inches too, weren't they? Well, as I recall, six inch diameter. Were they six inch yes. poles? Yeah. Telephone poles are too big. They're not too big. I don't. I don't know. That did, we, did we check with telephone company or public service to see what kinds of poles that they might have? Um, I can't remember whether I called uh, the power company or not. I know Wendy's getting They're pressure treated and I, they should last, I would think. Right. Wendy's working on a contact with a couple um, for some bridge building that on the trail. Yeah. Um, but it didn't seem like there was abundances of them that she if found. You think of it, if you think of it, when you're talking to a wolf, the place to go for a short pole like that is the Wolfboro uh, Electric Company. They got a whole backyard full of busted off poles. I've gotten like two or three from them. I would, um, I would call the office up here in Chicago and find out. What I will. Kind of, you will. Yeah. Okay. And I also want to find out if we can find someone. We, um, I talked to someone the other day and about renting the, the pole, the auger, on the truck. But the telephone company, if you crash into one, they charge. <laughs> what did somebody tell me yesterday? Three or four thousand dollars for the pole. Well, we can't do oh. that. We only need a nine foot or eight foot pole and a hole and a. You need how long sand. a pole? Well, we're looking at around a 25 foot pole, approximately. It'll go on the ground eight to nine feet, and that'll leave. I need 16 feet above the ground. They have so to go in that deep, huh? What's the recommendation? Nine foot pole. Wow, nine foot hole. That's what the the person that came and talked to William originally suggested was. Eight or nine feet. Eight to nine feet is what he suggested. Because it's all sand. There isn't much hole. Is it? Above, yeah. Is yeah, that right? Not, it's it's sand and rocks, and I mean it's not. Not boulders. No, we didn't hit too many when we when we put the four foot holes yeah. in. Yeah. But. Okay. Um. So we're still looking for an auger, and we're still looking for poles. Yep. Well, we got. We got a good price on the poles. We just try to get it even more competitive if we can get it shipped. Somebody's, if anybody knows anybody that runs a rig back and forth and it's coming back here empty and want to put some My poles neighbor's on it. son does a lot of trucking in Colorado or out west. Oh, you talked to me about it. Whether he'd want to come back with a load to visit or something, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk with him. That's the gentleman we, we met one day over at the nursing home. Yeah, yep. Yeah. His son. Yeah, you mentioned that. Okay. Um, how are we doing on a truck? 
still looking. Still looking. Um, to be honest, we've, with the spring cleaning and everything that's been going on out here, it's it's uh, it's needed really bad to do these things. But at the same time, these things need to be done. So I've been spending more of my time of yeah. getting things done than than looking for the truck. Okay. Um, we've had a discussion recently of. Um, what what type of truck you know I know we want wanted the one ton dump truck mm -hmm. um, so we're still kind of looking there's been a lot of diesels I kind of want to do with the gas but uh, we're still still yeah. looking that one you went and looked at was not what you wanted no it had more rust issues than uh, than I wanted to, to tackle Okay. So uh, that was the other thing was the the bids because I did have some people call me. I got I got three bids here and well, what is this? one of them I opened because it didn't say what the bid was for. Uh -huh. And I opened it up last week uh, uh, the last time we met. So and this is for the airflow sander. Yes. Um, three hundred and seventy-five dollars. Sixty-five cents. Let the Mrs. Kenny. So the bids came in two weeks ago. Came in longer ago than that. So the bids came in two weeks ago. Longer ago than that. We didn't this doesn't that. have a date on it. Three seventy-five. April twenty-eighth is this, is the uh, when we received it. Three seventy. So anyway, three seventy-five sixty-five. Oh, and it was to Silva Maintenance, this was already uh, Thornton, open. New Hampshire. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that was for Thornton. the airflow sanding. What is yours? Uh, this was already open. Um, that that's it's it's not Bass, already opened. I just opened. He just it opened it. I figured you probably didn't have oh, a knife. Oh, okay. Uh, the bid is five hundred twelve dollars and fifty cent for a nineteen eighty eight John Deere twelve seventeen Haven Mauer. What is it? Under Kettle County. John Deere twelve seventeen yeah. more conditioner. Mm -hmm. so, so. How much was it? Five hundred twelve dollars and fifty cent. So this is what you actually put out. So we're getting rid of that. Yes, it's been. This. Yes. But did you also put out for the old trucks, or is that going to, uh, where is that going to the junkyard? Didn't you yeah. have a truck? Is the one going for metal, the scrap? Yes, we got two trucks, actually. We're they already. Let, let's stay with the same subject, okay? Okay. You just we just the, discussed the truck. What? We just discussed the truck. Yeah, the truck is a dead issue. Now, you've got, for the mower conditioning, right? $512.50. And what have you got? Oh, well, she's got the winner. I she get had? 500. 500? And what do you have? 500. Yeah, but I don't know. Three. What this do you is have? something different. Okay. This so is for the sand. There's only two for the, uh, who are those for the bits? John Deere. There are two bits then. Who are those bits from? Uh, All this Cincy. bid is. Look at the names here. Where's yours from? And mine is from Keith Rogundo. From Methuen, Mass. Wow. Did you have the numbers? Yes. Five twelve. You willing to accept those two bids? Uh, okay, that that bid for five hundred for the uh, mower condition? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And now you will accept this bid? Originally. Uh, yeah. Why what is that bid for? What is that? For Sandin. Would you like oh. to look at it all, Commissioner? Oh, yeah. There's only one. There's only one. I would say that we should definitely take it on the sander. Um, take it? On the okay. sander. And on the mower conditioner, we might as, we might as well have been sitting there for six years. I've tried. This is the second time we've advertised it, and this is the best price we've gotten in the six years of, of two times advertising it. So. Oh, it went already two times? Yes, yeah, so a couple of years ago we advertised it oh, to, okay. to accept bids, and they weren't, uh, weren't good enough to, to want to sell it. I'll make a motion that we accept the bid. Uh, um, on the mower conditioner for 300 and 512. 512. Mower conditioner. I'm sorry. 512. 512. And 50 cents. Yeah. Second it. 
that you uh, get 50 You don't cent. want to save with, uh, in, in accepting a bi uh, bank check or, or cash? Accept the bank check. I'll second it. Any further discussion? All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Then I assume it's unanimous. Um, and on the sander, 375.65. Yes, I hear a motion. So move. Do I hear a second? Second. What? Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in support of the motion say aye. Aye. Can I have that? All those nay. Then what was the amount on the uh, sander? It's 375.65. 375, 75. 75. Okay. 65. Okay. Okay. Motion passes unanimously. Bank, bank check or cash is acceptable. Bank check. Right? Bank check. Okay. Or cash. That's the cash. Do you want to have the name and a number? Are you going to call this guy? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I want to be able to try to get all three of them if I can, if it's possible. Yeah. So I can notify Yeah, we need to hang on to those for a little while. So just a little bit. I don't know um, if you want to make a copy and then give it to Cheryl. Yes, I'll make copies so and I'll leave these originals yeah. with Cheryl. Yeah, okay. And I'll just take the copy so I can notify the people. Yeah. Anything else? Yes, Mr. Yes, go ahead. Mr. Chairman, is there any problem with Willie uh, unplugging our computer in our office and taking it over until he, no. until he gets one back? No. You want to do that, Will? Try. Well, I mean, are you technically savvy enough so you can plug it in and plug it in? Mr. Bassett was on it this morning, so apparently it works. So it's, right. it's he didn't break it yet. I, I can plug it in and see if it, I don't know if there's any secret passwords or anything I need to. I'm not that smart on how to do those. I, don't, I would think you get, why don't you take it for a couple of days and bring it back? I mean, so, we do use it, but. Right. Are you sure you it's need not one. going to cost $300 for hooking it up? I, I think I can do it cheaper. Oh, than that. okay. Good. <laughs> it's only a couple of courts, but if, if it doesn't work, I can't guarantee it. I don't know. Anything else, Will? I don't think so. I'll be able to get my scale, I hope. Okay. And how successful was that, actually? I don't know if you Good. ever reported on the... Uh, how many people brought their scales in? Any idea? It was between 20 and 30, really? 25, like something like that. A huge amount of people. Was, really? Yes. Yep. And then every year we've, they've been pretty consistent. We've had a lot of the same people that locals um, mm -hmm. here in Carroll County that have come to, to do that. What kind of scales are, are they bringing in? Majority of, them are, stand or? majority of them are similar to, to yours, yeah. um, that type. Um, they do have some of the older fashion hanging ones, um, but most of them seem to be the electronic type like, like yours. And therefore, yeah. uh, roadside stands, um, a lot of those different types of places. Okay. The, um, the group that comes here from the State Department of Agriculture, if you haven't been there and watched them do it, it's, um, they do an excellent job. They, they help the patrons. They keep things moving. They're prepared. It's just it's a pleasure to watch them, watch them do their job. And Good they get them in and they explain to people what the problems are, mm -hmm. if they have them. I been. I went the first time. I went back a second time just to watch. So they do a good job. The woman that called me because I couldn't be there was very polite. Told me exactly what to do. I didn't realize I had to have a permit to use it. I've never actually used the thing. Um, and I think it was eighteen dollars a year for a permit. Oh. Uh, maybe I won't use it. I don't know if I make that much money on blueberries. Okay, anything else? I don't think so. All right, thank you. Maybe you need a business okay. plan. Have a good thank day. You. Oh, uh, uh, are you working on a business plan? Well, I'm, In I'm your trying spare to. Time? I'm trying to. I was told a week and a half, uh, less than a week ago that the delegation wants to talk about it on Monday. Um, I, I had no, no clue of that. So a week and a half in the busiest time of the year, it, it's pretty rushed yeah. to, to have a decent business plan. But you are working on one. Commissioner Babson gave me an outline to work on. Yeah. Um, again, I don't have my computer, so yesterday I spent a good deal trying to handwrite out a bunch of, of ideas and, and uh, answer the questions. But 
you know, I'm working on it. I just can't say that it would definitely be ready by Monday. I think that's a little little rushed in the busiest time of the year. No, don't rush it. So. Just say that you're working on it. Okay. Um, you're the only one that I know of that has a business plan such for livestock and uh, for trucks and so forth. And I located my old, uh, Google's old business plan for the livestock and yep. gave it back to them and it was pretty thorough. Yeah. Could vote it down. Yeah. Okay, and we got to come up with a plan too. Oh, yeah. Actually, I did have one other quick question. Yeah. Uh, um, talking about the nursing home stuff. Is the, the plan with the freezer, is that, is there no new plans with that freezer down there? To do what? Well, we just bought a bunch of, we're trying a new thing, new thing this year. We're going to grow a bunch more vegetables this year. Yeah. And the plan is working with the jail, they're going to process and freeze a bunch of them. And then the idea was to store a lot of that into that freezer because it's still a good freezer. Right. So you're talking about taking down wings this summer. And I'm wondering if that doesn't, if that's just going to be left alone for right now until future decisions. That won't be touched. It's okay. the wings on this side. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a, kind of a new thing that we're, we're trying this year and uh, hoping that that's going to be successful. Yeah. And if there's any shelving or anything that you need, you need to go through the, the old nursing home and move it down to your facility if that's right. something you need. Sure. Okay. Can I get something else? Well, All right, go ahead. Um, well, you get a lot of area down by the mattress factory that you don't, you don't mow. Um, because too wet? Too wet and it's not good egg. Okay. But it would make excellent um, pasture. Why don't you put an ad in the market, pull it in, and uh, see if we can find someone that two or three cows for 100 bucks for the season apiece. And we'll fence it in and get a little rubbing on. Do they fence it in or do we fence it in? Well, we're, we'd have to fence it in. Where's that money coming from? How much does why? We'll find it. I'll give you, they pay us $200. That's what we to pay for, for the okay. first year. Yes, sir. All right, y'all, anything else? No, I'm fine. Do you have anything else? Uh, no, thank you. Thank you, Will. Good. Thank you. Have a good no, day. Thank you, Will. Okay, I would Let's like do this right now. I would like to move into a non public session. To, dis to discuss negotiations uh, with the union contracts. Um, so do I hear a uh, motion to do that? I'll make a motion that we go into non-public session for a non-meeting of discussion with our um, attorney on uh, union negotiation. Second. second. Do you second it? Yeah. Okay, all those in support, all those support the motion? Roll call. Mr. Kenny? Yes. Mr. Sorensen? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Okay, we're in on public. Um, the meeting back in the session. Um, we had non public, no minutes were taken. It was on. It was on uh, union negotiations. So now um, we're in work session. You have something to bring up in work session? Yes. Go ahead. Um, I would like to make the following motion: travel reimbursement for air trips departing from Logan Airport will be limited to tolls and mileage between the county complex or the employee's home and the Dover bus terminal whichever is less. The commissioners have the authority to authorize a different reimbursement, uh, authorize different uh, reimbursement arrangements. Could I have a copy of that, please? Thank you. Okay, and, oh, uh, I have a question. Go ahead. How about some a second and then a discussion? I'll second it for discussion purposes. Okay. Okay, so uh, I have then a question. So, Commissioner Bobson, can you clarify what is this precise? What are you talking about? Well, um, when you were doing the invoices or paying the bills the other day, I suspect you probably saw it too, or you should have seen it. We had an employee uh, drive to Logan Airport, and it cost us 
$136 in mileage and the individual parked for I don't know how many days that was 108 and uh, my feeling is if you can drive down to, to Dover and get on the, we pay the mileage and a few tolls and then you can get on the bus and drive to Logan Airport for $44 and pay no parking for the entire time you're there in this case it was a roughly uh, Two hundred and forty uh, forty-four dollars for something we could have done for less than sixty bucks. Uh, I see it a few times that they're doing that. That we also pay for luggage, uh, parking, uh, meals. Everything is is paid usually. And well, then you could have put the motion in then when you saw it. Yeah, and uh, my order want to bring also something else forward. I also see if we're going to uh, meetings, conferences, and you know if we have a group of people, four or five are going, and one person drive. Why do we have to reimburse all the five people? Because I see that a couple times. I see they're going in one car, they're going in one van, and when I come back to the county, I said everyone put in for mileage. Okay, well then why don't you so amendment? why you, you, why don't we have something in that if we're going with four or five people in a car that a, the driver just gets reimbursement for mileage? Do you know that that's happening? Yeah, I know it's happening. That you need to bring that up. I think at a I, meeting. I think yeah, I think I uh, told you a few years ago. So, well, my motion isn't to see for how many people get crammed into a car going somewhere. It's cost of what of going to Logan Airport versus driving to Dover. It's okay, the, the but parking you, is the big issue. Right, it costs you know, a lot to park down to Logan, where it's free parking at the bus stations. Yes. Yeah, but why would you uh, limit it only to Logan? Why is it not? Uh, we have also not an airport if they're going to Manchester. Well, the, the, no bus. The bus doesn't go from Dover to Manchester. Yeah. What bus around here goes from here to Dover to Manchester? Or to Portland, Maine. Or to Portland. The only one that's been abused is the uh, is the one from from Dover to Logan. Any further discussion on the motion? Let me, read, let me look at it again. Yeah. Well, but there may be extenuating circumstances, and by putting in the the, the second line, um, yeah. If yep. somebody comes to us, we can say, okay, that's fine. Any further discussion? Seeing none. Motion's been made and seconded. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 That's unanimous. So voted. Thanks. You have anything else on the work session to bring up? Um, work session. No, I had the bids, but we took care of that. Okay. Um, we all got, go ahead, you got more? No, except that somebody's got to get a hold of Randy Remick and make sure uh, what the prices for removal of those wings are. Okay. I would like to talk about the, uh, the meeting on Monday. One of the items is to set salaries for the elected officials um, for next year and following years. I think that our registry of deeds should be increased to fifty-five thousand dollars. Right now, it's forty-five. Um, with only one exception, Coas County is at forty. All the others are fifty-six, sixty-two, sixty-five, fifty-four, sixty-eight, fifty-five. And I don't know this for sure, but I don't think our present registrar is going to be running for election. Um, so if a new person is running, 
I think it has to be a, uh, a reasonable salary. I would suggest that we write to the delegation chairman and um, and put our recommendation in for the Registry of Deeds for Carroll County. So I Do you have any discussion? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, COAS is 40000 Yep. So that is even less. And you said now a new person is running, so it needs I, I don't know that for sure. I think, I don't think Ann is running again, but I don't want that to be the limiting factor. And what was the recommendation? My recommendation is that we recommend to the delegation that the Registry of Deeds salary goes from 45 to 55. <coughs> You're going to put it up $10,000? Yep. Well, look at the, look at all the others. Yeah, but if you look at COAS, it's 40. But that's the only one. Yeah, well. Do we have to be equal to COAS? No, but we even 5,000 more than COAS. <coughs> well, make a suggestion. I'm not making any recommendation. Okay. So you'd rather keep it at 45? It's a reasonable salary. Would you allow a comment to the issue or regarding the data? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I just, in conversations with Ann Aiden several times, she's mentioned that her the number of documents recorded is more comparable to Belknap than any other county, that Carroll and Belknap tend to run pretty close at the number of documents. Okay. So when you're looking at a good comparison, it would probably be Belknap and not Coloss. And also, I just completed a survey of all of the counties regarding what benefits they give to their elected officials. And um, Do we have a copy of that? I, I was planning to um, have one for Monday, so I can send you a copy of it if, you, if you'd like. But um, as far as benefits go, Carroll County elected officials get 80% coverage on their medical for a single person plan, and they have to pay 20. Who? The sheriff, the registrar, and the county attorney have okay. to pay. Um, 20% of their single person coverage. In Carroll they, County. Right, in Carroll. Right. If they want spousal or family, they have to bear all of the additional cost of that expanded coverage. Carroll is the only county that require, that has that requirement. All of the other counties pay a larger percentage, first of all, and they also kick in for spouse and family coverage. So I just think looking at a whole package is more appropriate than just looking at the salaries because not only are two of the elected official salaries here much lower than other counties, they're also paying a lot more towards their benefits. So, I Thank just, you. If you're just looking for, you know, to compare it across all the counties yeah. and try to make yeah. it even, you got to look at the, the same numbers and not I just don't know the how Ann feels about it, whether it should be increased or not. I haven't talked to her. It just looks awful low for me, uh, to me for that when you compare all the other counties. And if you say it's equal to Belknap County, Belknap County is getting sixty-eight thousand. But you also have to. How about what? how about did you do any surveying on how many people that work in the departments? Um, no, but I do know that one one in one way that the new, the um, salary survey is skewed is that it doesn't look at what it would cost to replace that person for that job if a new person came or what the base salary is. Some of these people in these positions have been there for, like Ann, she's been here like 30 years. And I'm sure that's true across these other positions. So without knowing how long the Belknap person's been there, is 68 for a new person or has that person been there for 20 years? We don't know Yeah. without more research. So. I, I guess. Okay, go ahead. I guess I'm old school. Yeah. We, we know what the job <coughs> entails, we know what it pays, and if we don't like what it pays and we don't like the amount of work, we don't run. Okay. I, so you had to keep it at 45? Well, if push came to shove, 
No, I might, you'd rather keep I it might, at 45. I might increase it to 48, but I'd like to see it stay at 45. Okay. Well, I, I, there's more to it than, than just that, Mr. Chairman. I, I believe that there ought to be a high and a low for the job. Now, if we get a new registrar, what are the odds a new registrar is going to have any experience at all? Yep. And why should that person make the same amount of money that Ann Eaton's made after being here? Um, That's a good point. Time began, and the same with the sheriff. The same with the, the same with the county attorney. If they've had previous uh, experience, that's one thing. If they haven't, um, I don't see why we should be paying for their education. I I agree with that. Asher, you had any other comments on it? No, I have no comments. You think it should remain at 45? Uh, I don't make any recommendations. I just uh, leave it for um, a delegation because they are the one that set the salary for the elected officials. So. Okay, and you'd rather keep it at 45. Okay. Is there I, in I'm not opposed to giving an experienced registrar another $3,000 a year, but certainly if we're going to get someone that hasn't been a registrar, doesn't know the first, it might have worked in the office, which isn't the same thing as being a, a registrar and having the hassles, um, then I'd leave it at 45. Okay, uh, are there any other elected officials that you think we should give a recommendation to the delegation about? Uh, well, I just want to say something. If uh, what Commissioner Bobson just mentioned, but if you look at a sheriff, we have new sheriff who was never sheriff before, and he was getting the salary what they just you know said. Uh, that is that's sixty-two, yeah, sixty-two thousand one eighty-five. So if he is not experienced, he doesn't know. You recommend like a lower amount, and a person who was then an experienced sheriff or has done it before is getting the sixty-two. Correct? That is what you were saying. Yes. So he shouldn't have gotten this 62. Go ahead, Commissioner. I, I will point out, Commissioner Kenny, that I was on the delegation the last time these um, these uh, wages were increased, and I made the same comment then as I'm making now. If you don't have the, if you're new at it, you shouldn't get the same amount of money as someone coming in with experience. The delegation didn't agree with me and raised the raised the the wage to. Or, or I, don't, I can honestly can't remember whether they raised it or kept it at 62, whether you were a beginner or one with experience. I do remember that. Okay, so I assume that nobody wants to change any of the salaries no, of elected the officials. The delegation is going to change it or not. They said I know that. I said that. But they can use a recommendation. They always have in the past. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, may I ask Melissa a question since she did? Go ahead. Melissa, are we are we eligible? Maybe I should ask Gwinnett. Are we, are the commission is eligible for uh, uh, medical insurance if they need it here also at 8020? I, it depends on what the commissioners have voted on in the past, and I don't believe that there has been that offering of medical or the dental. Do you know, Melissa? I, I don't know. Do you know if any other county commissioners get medical benefits or any other benefits? The, sta the standard response I got was from all of them was that the elected officials are um, eligible for the same package as non-union full-time employees, but I got the impression that none of the commissioners take medical. It was more the department head, elected officials, the sheriff, the county attorney, and the register. Okay. Okay. We won't touch that one. Um, I don't know that I wouldn't be would, would um, oppose the chairman making five hundred dollars more than the other two members. There's a lot of responsibility. Well, I oppose to that. I think all three commissioners are equal and they have equal votes, and they should make the same amount. Well, I can tell you they may be equal. They may make the same amount. They may have the same the same vote. But they don't do the same amount of work. And I don't want well, to discuss that any further. Well, that's, okay. that's your opinion. 
I'll make a motion that we increase the uh, chairman's pay by five, <laughs> or, or that we recommend to the the uh, delegation that the chairman get five hundred dollars more than the other two members. Do I hear a second? No. Nope. I can't second it. Um, although I might not be chairman next year. I do agree with you, um, but on the other hand, I feel I f also feel that you, as a commissioner, Commissioner Babson, have done an outstanding <coughs> job in work in looking into many different areas uh, that we are all responsible for. Um, you've put in more time than the two of us collectively, um, and that deserves some recognition. So. I won't second the chairmanship, um, additional $500, but I will say that you deserve recognition for the work that you have done, um, more so than any other commissioner that I am aware of for the 12 years that I've been here, uh, the work that you put in here, and the interest that you have in county government. So I want to thank you for doing that. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman. I, I appreciate that. and I. Um, I understand that you can't second it, but I would think that Commissioner Kenny certainly could second it, and if she wanted to vote against it, then she could. Also, I believe that um, that perhaps you shouldn't, well, thinking back, maybe you shouldn't even vote on whether the chairman gets another $500 because you're going right. to be here next year and probably you will be chairman again. Okay, I'll withdraw my motion. Okay. And thank you for your kind words. Thank you. <coughs> okay, I have uh, a proposal here. This doesn't deal with Carroll County uh, government or funds, but this is from Hale's location, and it's a contract for Comerford Nieder Perkins appraisal and assessment services that we need to sign. Um, well, excuse me, Mr. Chairman. We had two of those, didn't we? And wasn't one of them we were going to give them the electronic billing, and the other one we were going to wait and see whether the people right. wanted to pay. And that one is still out there. This, That's isn't, this isn't the same one. Different, no. That's for them to do the reassessing. This is for half the town, right? What's this, that? The reassessment is for half the town. For half the town. They do the whole Hales location. Yeah. Now, uh, Mr. Chairman, it looks to me like they finished a, a, a physical assessment in 2000 or will in 2014. Mm hmm. Um, photographs, callbacks, data entry, maybe not. Um, it's, uh, I think that's what two is, years, right? What is, what is, why is uh, next year up uh, uh, $5,500 that they haven't done this year? I can't answer that. I don't know. Can we have a conference call someday with, uh, with, uh, we could have them come in actually. I think they've come in before. Well, I'd certainly like to know. Okay, we'll try to get them to come in next well, week. We'll talk to Kathy, uh, one of the two. I, mean, I just, there's a big difference between going to all houses and measuring and yep. talking and sitting back and taking two or three sales out of 120 houses and making the adjustment that way. And I'm sure if you're an assessor, that uh, you can understand what they're saying there, but I yeah. don't. It's a two-year service for $21,500, and there's roughly um, 150 to 175 homes, I believe, is what they look at. Where are they all? I thought they were all around the golf course. Yeah, they are. Is that, is that many? I yeah. I thought it was like 125. Yeah. 
Actually, I thought it was less than that till she said one day it was out for 25. Okay, we'll wait for that one. All right, let's look at minutes. Um, Name and the date. Excuse me? Name the date. Well, let's let's look at um, last week's minutes. That's the 30th, last Two weeks week. Ago. I'm looking at May 6th. May 6th. Okay. Minutes that you took because we had a a posted meeting that was held on oh, okay. so May 6th. Yep. Um, I was in attendance for half of it. Commissioner Kenny, uh, you had agreed the week before that you'd be there. That's why we posted it. Oh, um, yes, but uh, and I then had you a, couldn't make it. I had a doctor's yeah, appointment. A doctor's I appointment. asked if it was going to be yep. an hour later, and I was told that they not going to uh, move it to an hour later. Right. So I couldn't make it. Okay. Um, do I hear a motion to approve May 6th minutes that was taken by Commissioner uh, Babson? I can't make a motion. <laughs> Well, I'll make the motion that we approve the minutes. Do I hear a second? She can't do I, it because I, she wasn't I here. I was absent, so. So you. Oh, we're in a fine kettle of fish here. No, you can make them. You can second it. Okay, I'll second it. Are there any changes that you want to make in the minutes? This is all in regards to meeting with train which we approved their contract today um, and at that time there was no discussion about the uh, administration building that's true that's true okay all those any other comment you want to make regarding the minutes not these okay i wrote them. all those in support of the motion then say aye 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 I abstain. And you abstain, okay. Now, is this the appropriate time, Mr. Chairman, to report on the other meeting? Was I was the only one in attendance with the Maragas? Yes. Um, Go ahead. Previous to train coming in, the reason we had to post that is because um, Commissioner Kenny uh, said she'd be there, which would make it a, a quorum, and so we posted it. But we all, I also met with um, with Bob Murray and um, Howard Chandler and Willie to talk with the uh, representative from Amerigas about going out for bid, what, what could happen price-wise with uh, propane. And what got us going is we paid four weeks ago or five weeks ago $2 and 9 cents, I think it was. For, per gallon for propane, and the last one we got, which is only four weeks later, is a dollar sixty. And there's, a, there's so much volatility. Uh, when I wasn't convinced that we were getting the, the best deal from Easton. I'd always heard that nobody would fill the tank. Easton owns the, the owns the tank, so we called in a second opinion, and the gentleman said that what they do in situations where they lose the bid they just buy the tank from the other provider because they don't want to come in here with a low boy and a crane and pick it up and move it and then if they win the bid again in two years put it back they just write a check um so that took that worry away they also there's people that will certify the tank and that you'll be covered with uh um with uh for uh the liability of the of the situation. Who would uh, certify the company that's taken it over? There's somebody that does it. I mean, who pays for it? Oh, well, when you're buying a two hundred and fifty thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollars worth gallons of uh, propane, I don't think a hundred dollars or two hundred certified is going to be a major. That is more than that, but go ahead. A major issue. Okay. Um, and and it led to some interesting discussions about pricing of it, whether you get a fixed price, whether you get a, a uh, price uh, at the uh, at the well, at the uh, end of the pipeline. It also led to a discussion about putting, converting um, fleet vehicles over to, um, to 
propane. propane. And I went down and asked Dominic if he'd be willing to be the guinea pig or uh, or whether Willie would, I mean uh, Jason would. Jason said, the problem is um, schmoozing somebody in to make the conversion for less than $6,300. So um, that's about what it costs. To convert so, one vehicle? Yeah. 6300 Yep. Well, you're also talking the difference of... of uh, of uh, almost a dollar a gallon, yeah, a dollar a gallon. these things yeah. go. So, that, so it's worth looking into. Um, I talked to the sheriff, and he did, was going to do some research on his next purchase of a car to see what. <coughs> Are there many places point. where you can fill up with propane? Well, that's that's one of the issues. The gentleman that talked to us in California said there all the gas stations or a large percentage now have propane or really? natural gas. Filling. Oh, the, speaking of that, natural gas and propane. Um, I believe he said it was natural gas. You can run for ten or fifteen thousand miles on engine oil, and it looks like it's brand new when you when you change it. Not true of propane. It's a little dirtier, but nothing like nothing like regular right. motor oil now. Yeah. Um, we also we've got two tanks here, and and they can be fitted so you can drive up and, uh, and fill them. Right at the hmm. right in our own tanks. Okay. So it's worth looking into. I mean, if you can, we, we buy a lot of propane. Should we? Uh, that was America gas. Hmm? That was America gas. Yeah, Amer American, Amer American, American, American. And okay. they have purchased um, Northern Energy, which is it would it would go through them, I guess. I found it interesting that they can sell us the gas, but they don't transport it. They hire someone. Huh. To Someone to haul it for you. It was an interesting discussion. Okay, we need to follow up on any more of that? No, I'll, I'll keep going on it. We, I'd like to find somebody around here who does the conversion. Maybe in exchange for some publicity, we might be able to con them into doing it for something less or nothing. Okay. Or maybe, you know, maybe like NASCAR, we could put their name on the company on the side of the sheriff's wagon. Okay. okay. Asher, you want to? comment yeah. on your meeting last night? Yes, uh, I went to a meeting last night in Madison, uh, 921A workshop. I was disappointed. I didn't see the two water commissioners. There's a lot of talk about 921A. And also last week, May 7, uh, I went to Concord. Uh, there was a celebration of 100 years of UNA Corp extension. They um, had the luncheon at a state library, and then they went over to the chamber. Uh, I met uh, the other commissioners from the other counties, but also attended. Uh, there were different speakers. We had the director of UNH Golf Extension, John Pike. Uh, we had uh, Governor Hassan, she spoke to. We had also UNH President uh, Huddleston, uh, he spoke also. You want to go into any detail about last night's meeting? Something new that you may have found out? Uh, no, most of the stuff uh, I already know. Uh, but I can touch on maybe one item. Um, the settlements, it's all public records. Even if it has a non-disclosure clause in, if somebody asks for it, it should be released. All the settlements of the county, it's public information. So anyone can file a 91A, and you can get all the settlements from the county. Even, even though in the agreement? Even if that, that, yes. He said it is a public record. You cannot, uh, like, protect it. So it is not for non it is for disclosure even if there's a clause in. And you can have a redaction, but I don't know if you want to redact a name, I mean, there were already names in the newspaper who got settlement, so I don't know if you give that out if you want to redact it. But it are all public records. I know the other counties are giving it out, and if you look at Stratford County, they are all in file. Anyone who comes can see all the settlements. Mm -hmm. That is only this county. The, the chairman even want to put a seal on it, a special seal, so that the commissioner clerk cannot even see it. And if you read the RSA, that 
all claims and action taken by the county. I should even have it in my possession, what I don't have. Nothing in my possession. The only thing what I had was the non-public minutes, but you know it was a whole big hype, so I don't even have that. The non-public are right here for 2013. Okay. Um, then let's look at April 23rd minutes. Um, if, we're, if, we're paying for, if we're paying mileage down to the to the hundredth anniversary of the cooperative extension, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to know what um, Commissioner Kenny got out of that trip too. Which trip from last week? I went there in support of cooperative extension, uh, Hornetiers. I went to the celebration. Well, I know we had it. I believe it was two years ago. We had it uh, in Art Conway, but I think. Uh, the signing we had of the also, um, I think we had a conference also at the same time, so well, it was actually. Uh, well, I'm not interested what efficient. happened three years ago. I'm interested if we're going to pay your mileage, what 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 you got out of it, down in County. What I get out of it? Yeah, you can go up to the advisory meeting every month in Conway. I've never seen you there, but you went down to the. 100th anniversary and I thank you very much for going but I'd like to know what I, the taxpayers are going to get out of it. I thought you were going to the advisory meetings. I do. I'm asking you why you had to get out and of the Commissioner Conquer. Watson, you're going every month to Concord. What are you getting out of there? No, 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 Can no. You tell the Conway. Us? He goes to Conway. Yeah, but he's going to Concord too. He said he is not taking mileage because he lives around the corner. That's correct. But he put in every month mileage for Concord. That's so, absolutely so. correct. And I, since I've started collecting for going to Concord, I haven't mentioned not being paid any mileage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go to April 23rd minutes, please. April 23rd. I got, I got on a top approved 30th of April as amended. This, okay. This, yep. uh, the 30th. Is that what you meant? April 30th. 23rd. Is, is now we're looking at April 30th. <coughs> so what did you say about the 23rd? The 23rd yeah, was approved okay. on the top. So we're doing okay. Is there any corrections? Didn't we already do this? This one we set a minute. I don't have it approved. Do you have it approved? Oh, when no, the 30th. I yeah, this is the 30th. <coughs> there was no time. I've got a I've got a notation here for him. I'm sorry. I did. I ha I haven't. We haven't done them, and I made a notation on them. Okay, you got some corrections this weekend. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. on the paragraph on uh, page seven. Yeah. Third paragraph or second full paragraph. Um, bids for the old wood processor were open. Commissioner Sorensen said that he thought the county should reject any bid of less than six thousand dollars, which represents one third of the purchase price. The bids are for the wood processor as is, where is, with no warranty expressed, implied, the bids were as follows. That must be the wrong paragraph because that's, that's easily understood. What? Say that again? I made a note here because I didn't understand the paragraph, but that one there makes perfect sense. Okay. And that's where I had my note. Okay. And we accepted the bid of five thousand seven hundred and fifty. Five thousand eight hundred and twenty one. I'm sorry. Five hundred thousand eight hundred and twenty one twenty one cents. Okay. Any other corrections? Um yeah. I should have to read the whole thing again. It's from a couple of weeks ago, but if you look at uh, oh, page <coughs> Page seven. Page seven. Yeah, it said. Um, Where are you reading from? Uh, the second one, the okay. second paragraph. Commissioner Kenny said that information was requested by the performance auditors for a Friday meeting, and Ms. Gary agreed to provide it. Um, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about because I don't know nothing about the performance that auditors that they actually. Um, requested any information. I know the audit company from Portland, Maine, who's just doing the audits. They are the one that just okay. So not the performance auditors. Uh, 
The, fist, the financial auditors, not the performance auditors? Yeah, the performance audit is a whole other company. Yeah, that's a different one. That You're right. they coming from, uh, I believe, Massachusetts. And, and that's what I had my note on that I needs explanation. I had it okay. go right. next to the wrong yeah. part. It's not, so okay. so it's it's not performance. It's financial. That is just, okay. yeah, they are Take from. Take out just performance? They are from um, Portmore, Maine. They were asking for uh, financial information, but uh, so we just take out performance, okay? Yeah, but uh, I'm going to put in financial because now we have two sets of auditors working. Just well, to sure there's financial and then there's auditors too. Yeah. They're doing the financial. You can also and yeah, then fin are also financial auditing. auditors. You can put also in okay. uh, form. Uh, you can put in the name, uh, Bolio. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we know what we're yeah. talking about. No, Any other? That's what I had. Oh. Uh, okay. No, wait a Any other corrections? Let me just take uh, a look, would you please, David? Just, can I have yes. just two minutes? Just What's that? Can I just have... Uh, um, on page eight, the last name is Ayers. A-Y-E-R-S. Where are we? Oh, yes, right. Um, Hang on, where is the, oh, there we go. What is the delay? We've had these minutes now for over, over yeah, a week. Yeah, that's why. Week and a half. Okay, so where are you? Is it in the middle of the page? Yeah, it's yeah. all taken care of. Mr. Mark? Yeah. Oh, what okay, the last I name? see it. Yeah. yeah. Do you have the name now? Yeah. What is it? Ayers. A-Y-E-R-S. Okay, any other questions? I don't see any more notes on you, Dave. So I hear a motion to accept the... Oh, account. yes, I have one. Last page, or no, page six, last paragraph. Commissioner Babson reported that he received a call from Mr. Fisher at Spyglass who said that he did not feel he was the person to decide which telephone lines to drop. Um, I circled feel he and made that Mr. Fraser so it doesn't, uh, Mr. Fisher, so it doesn't okay. sound like I'm the one making the decision. Okay. Who said that he did not feel Mr. Fisher was the person to decide which telephone line to okay. be dropped. Okay. I think, hold on just a second, but I think that's it. Here's, yeah, that's it. Do you have any corrections? Uh, no. I see. Let's see. Make a motion then that April 30th meetings be accepted as corrected. Do I hear a second? Second. Any further discussion? All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 Those, okay. 3 0. Question. Go ahead. We had a few weeks ago that someone from is it Colonial Life? He was coming to ask for if the employees are getting ten minutes, if he can uh, give some information about uh, life insurance. Are we going to make a decision, or do we need some more time to think about it? Remember, David, he was the one that was going to come in and give uh, everybody free life insurance yeah. if he had a chance to talk to him. And your question was the same as mine. He was going to do it on, on company time. Yeah. And we both agreed that, um, that I he think could it come in, but he not on company time. Lynette, do you have any further information on that? that? No, I thought the consensus of the board was that we're not going to allow him to sure. present uh, on company time and he needed to get 75 percent he needed to be able to see 75 percent of those people and it would be not a pro high probability of him being able to see all of those people on the clock um, and to be able to fulfill what their requirement was in order to provide that five thousand dollar life insurance policy so i didn't think that that was we were going to go move forward with that Okay. <coughs> we would let him come and be a part of open enrollment, and whoever wanted to see him could see him, but we were not going to 
agree to the mandatory time. Okay. Answers your question. Yeah. Okay. Anything else we need to bring up under um, water department? No, that's what just um, that's just for our uh, person. Okay. Um, for what could we? This is just for us. Yeah. You know, are they in order? Or we'll get, what are we going to do, November 1st? Well, two or, or three October? weeks ago, we decided that we would look at the non-public minutes and see if we could release right. some more of them. Right. And we didn't get to it. I have the non-public minutes for March, for, thir for 2013. Um, I um, had given you a chart as well. Okay. A revised chart. Is there a problem looking at them? No. Well, what um, month are we going to do, October? The problem problem is it, we can approve them or we can approve to release them, but we can't discuss, discuss them in public. Okay. We'd have to go into non-public to discuss them. Oh, yeah, that's right. But if there's some that we can release without having to discuss, we could do that. Okay. So what are we going to start with, October? Well, I think that... Uh, it is if it's still sealed, are the minutes sealed? Yeah. I think we need to go in non-public session to review it, and I don't know if it is all approved. And at least it, because if we start doing this now in a public session, it become part of the public session and a public record. They can come ask us for a 91A, and we have to give it to them, those minutes. So if you do it now in a public session, okay. it becomes part of the public meeting as a public record. Okay. Um, is there anything else that we want to bring up today before we go into non-public to look at 2013 non-public minutes? Anything? No. I, okay. I would be interested why Commissioner Kenny feels that way. Was that something you learned last night? I would think if we didn't talk about them, they, they stayed sealed. I don't know anything about it. Well, it's easier to go into non-public and not worry about it. Yeah. Uh, we'll open it up to non-public. Uh, public. To public comments. Yes, Mr. Brown. Um, I heard Ms. Uh, Commissioner Babson uh, mention Randy Remick. Has Bonnet Page and Stone already been retained to do the work on the old nursing home? Can I answer that? Go ahead and answer it. No, they have not, but they have the they have submitted the only one that submitted a quote, so that's the only basis we have to go on just to talk about it in rough terms with the delegation. But I'm sure there are other general contractors in the state of New Hampshire, and that's going to be over five thousand dollars, so that should definitely go out to bid. I'm sure that you're absolutely correct. There are a lot of construction companies in New Hampshire. It is over five thousand dollars. And when we get to it, we'll go out to bid. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, health insurance, um, the 80-20, I, I don't know why the commissioners would be looking for an 80-20 split on health insurance, but it, from my past experience, 80% coverage in health insurance in the private sector went away a number of decades ago. I don't understand why in the public sector everyone expects 80, 90, or 100 percent payment from the taxpayers. I think he'd be a good guy to put on the negotiating team. <laughs> um, we have the same feeling, Mr. Brown. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm just here, you, you know. Could you clarify that a little bit? Are you saying the county pays right now 80 percent? No, the 20. County pays 20, the individual pays it. No. no, the other way around. Excuse me, you're right. right. Employees pay 80 percent. The count. No. I'm sorry, you're messing me up. You're right. The county pays 80 percent. The employees pay 20 percent. Okay. Now, what are you saying? I'm saying that I don't believe that in the private sector, right? Private sector employees receive 80 percent health insurance coverage anymore. That was decades ago. 
but why public employees expect 80% or more? Because it's actually the taxpayers who are paying this. Right. Why is it the public sector employees expect that they should receive more um, health benefits or coverage than private sector employees who are the people who are paying the bills? I, I don't get the, the disparity between private and public employees. Okay, you want to explain it? It's been negotiated in the contracts here, and that's the way it is. I agree with you, Mr. Brown. I'm on the Budget Committee in Ossipi, and we had the same long discussion there. In, in Ossipi, the public, the public employee gets, I think they just did a great job negotiating, got it down to the point where the new employees are going to pay, are going to pay 6% now versus uh, most places that are paying 30 but I agree with you. But it's one of those things when you're negotiating a contract, you can't just take it away without giving something. It's a long process to get it back to where the rest of the world is at it, which is probably 70-30. Yeah. And then um, salaries? I, I would propose that the uh, salaries of the Board of Commissioners, 10500 be reduced to what the state reps on the delegation get paid. <laughs> and the difference could be put towards a county administrator. Okay. But I don't understand why the delegation who sets your salary, who they're making $100 a year, why, well, why shouldn't you, why should, your, why should they approve your jobs at $10,500? Because we, we're responsible for the operation, the day-to-day -day operation of the county, all departments. We're responsible for the budgets. We put that together. We're responsible for having people come in to talk about getting different gas prices, uh, different insurances, and we had trains come in. They don't do that at the state level. They have a committee that does that. They, all they do is vote. A lot they, of them do They're look, all part of the committee. What's that? Any number of them are part of those committees. They could be, yeah. And they're and they're doing it for a hundred dollars a year. Yep. Why don't we reduce the board of commissioners' salaries down to a hundred dollars a year, and you can take the difference and put it toward the county administrator? Okay, that's your view. That's yep. an idea. Anybody else? Public input. Melissa, you must have list, something. She must have a list of two days to two weeks not here. She must be able to keep us tied up for another half hour. <laughs> I was I was kind of excited to hear that um, all settlements and claims against commissioners or that have been settled against the county are now public information, according to what Commissioner Kenny learned last night. So I was wondering um, <laughs> when we might expect release of the investigations that have been completed at the county. Go ahead, Commissioner. I, I would suspect you could look for it about the time we get at a second opinion, if that's an accurate statement, that all settlements in their entirety, except for names and, and Social Security numbers, are redacted. Okay. I think we'd have to look at the agreement of the settlement as to what parties agreed to whatever before we released anything. And we can check with Primex. If you've got one particular one you're interested in, we'll check with Primex, because they are the ones that do the settlements. Well, I'm also looking for non, um, the results of non-monetary investigations as well that the Board of Commissioners has been withholding from the public, um, specifically the Reed Kenny investigation and the Fowler complaint that was filed against the commissioners. So I'm wondering if I just have to do my quarterly request asking for those two things. But the, that, those are not settlements, they're grievances. Right. Those are, no, uh, those are um, investigation reports. That is what she's talking about, I guess. So, and the more what are you saying? I do want a, I believe, is a four or five. Those are exam. It's the same, I think it's the same answer what we gave to you. That's it. Okay. Well, you know, and I, I'm just going to keep beating this issue because 
the more time that goes on, the more opportunity I have to request the results of investigations from other agencies and see how professionally and legally they handle it. And I would okay. ask my commissioners to come into this century and this age of transparency and consider attorney advice as just that. It's not something that you're forced to take. A judge didn't tell you to keep it in a box. You just got some advice that we paid for. So I would ask that you just consider really taking a look at those reports and redacting names and personal information if necessary and releasing them to us. If you look at a 91A5, there's also a law and there is exemption. So if you look at exemption, you will see what is exempt by a law. Commissioner Babson? Um, I, I have a problem with, with what we've heard in the last day about this 91A discussion in, in, in Madison last night. I can't believe that Primex, who insures, I think, 10 out of 10 counties, would be making settlements and putting in it that, that there's a non-disclosure contract with all their expertise if it weren't true that you didn't have to do it. Why, and why I would is, like to check that out. Why is Stratford County doing that then? I Stratford have no idea. County, I don't you can even get, know that they're doing it. You can get all the settlements they have for there. Anyone can file a 91A and you see all the settlements there. There is also uh, well, a case you, law. Somebody went to court, I believe it was uh, from the town, and it was a settlement and the person couldn't get it. The person went to court and the judge decided even if it was a clause in that uh, the person could get the settlement it was actually supposed. are we talking about grievances settlements uh, I'm talking investigations about what, settlements. what she's talking about, talking about we're talking about settlements i'm talking about a settlement i think she's talking about investigations right, right. and when she when she was <coughs> speaking originally about the meeting she said settlements claims and investigations so i just so that is settlements claims yeah so I just took that as meaning just about everything. And as we as we look at Stratford, if you want to, that's a perfect example of an agency that um, knows how to handle right to know requests and releases investigations into the behavior of public officials with the appropriate information redacted. So they might be able to give you some advice how you could do that. Okay. Commissioner Babson? I, will, I would hope that you would ask Commissioner Kenny to get a hold of whoever her friends Stratford. are in Stratford County and get a couple <laughs> of examples so that we could see what, what exactly they're, they're putting out. About Stratford, I talked to officials in Stratford County and uh, they were actually not happy the way it was handled. And they actually advised me uh, where I need to go. They were not happy the way it was handled, that whole investigation and that report. I would like to Officials file. I would like happy. to file right now a verbal right to know request into any communications that Commissioner Kenny had with officials in Stratford County, resulting um, about that investigation, to verify the claims that she just made. Yeah, that is a no. They, no, she doesn't have to put it in writing. Ninety-one A says she can do it verbally. It's a private conversation. Oh, yeah. I, it was a she, private um, conversation. She so just made those allegations what, what, in a public meeting, or those those statements in a public meeting about other elected officials or other officials of another I say county. Official wait, 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 I'm Any confused. Any correspondence. I, what are you? I have no correspondence. Say it, it was a private conversation. It happened. Say it, it happened. verbally again what you're so, looking for. Commissioner Kenny just said that she was advised by some people at Stratford County, which... Officials. Oh, officials. Okay, so, so we're, we're okay. in the mind of either elected officials or employees of Stratford. I just say officials. Yep. Okay, let her finish. Well, we're not happy with the way the investigation was handled, and then yep. they've given her some advice. Yep. Any it, correspondence that Commissioner Kenny had with those officials in Stratford? Like I, like I said, a private conversation, and I don't have to tell you that. And in five days, I either I would like the information or for you to deny it in writing. Yep. Thank you. That's all on that. Okay. When, I, when we say things as long as you two well, understand it, that's fine. I don't understand what you're looking for, but go ahead. Okay. okay. As long as you are. Uh, that makes sense. Yes. Okay. It does. Yes. Okay. okay. Maybe after you've had some lunch, you guys. Can okay. <laughs> it'll 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 make sense. <laughs> the other um, one last thing: the uh, performance audit that's happening oh, now. God. 
the, uh, the commissioners each have an opportunity to meet individually with the performance audit folks and did you I did. That? I did. Did oh, you meet? Uh, what? What was the question? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Thank you. No questions? Good. Thanks. I'll take that as a right. no. Anybody else got public information? Uh, public comment? Okay, if not, we will go into non-public to discuss releasing some non-public minutes. Mr. Chairman, can I make a suggestion? Go ahead. Why don't we recess till lunch, because then we're going to have to wait for Ed to pick up anyway if we go into non-public. Okay. We're not coming back. Okay. We won't be conducting Sounds like a good business. suggestion, so okay, we will recess up. until 1 o'clock. Oh, are you going to eat fast? <laughs> what time? Why don't Go ahead. We'll you make a suggestion. I'll put back at one thirty. One thirty. Yeah. Okay. We'll recess at one thirty, and at one thirty, we will go into non-public to discuss releasing some non-public minutes. The possibility. The possibility of releasing some. You also got a boatload of ones you haven't looked at yet. No, well, we can do those. Oh, so you we need can to do give those to us, Jonah. Okay. So we're going to stand in recess until that time. Okay. Thank you very much.